Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the greatest podcast on earth. It is my pleasure to announce that due to the large amount of substance abuse in Afrobeats, we have come tonight to prefer a solution. So those of you with substance issues, substance related issues, I have good news for you. The Zero Conditions Good. podcast, the number one podcast. And I say that with huge respect to Wano Oshukoya in the building. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, fam. The number one podcast is back. <laughs> <laughs> and today, oh, God. helping us out, our NDLA official, our Jobo. guest. Like, that's not me. <laughs> That NDLA what? what? NDLA. <laughs> when did, when did that happen? No, no, you guys are missing it. Oh he said that he's, he has come with the substance. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Yeah! Oh! 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 Oh, how did I miss that? Oh! 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 Um, I need these jeans. Also, I would like to, uh, just for well, melody's sake, like... make reference that uh, Motolani came late um, for the first time. But the show can go on Excel, without me. We're not going to casually say that, please. He came, but he... I... Motolani came late. Yes, for he the first time. He was late for over 30 minutes. For the first Mel- time. Melody, you... how many episodes? What's the... What's the what's this episode, episode seven. seven. This episode seven. seven. And yeah. this is your first time being early. Before me. Because I called you a- I called you earlier today and I said, Melody, okay, okay, okay. God is rooting for it's, you. Let's move on. Let's move Don't on. let the devil win. Please, Come Joe early. Drink wine. Drink wine. Drink wine. Okay, Joe, Do you I know want another reason why she came early? I want these jeans. Can I tell you? Oh, oh for the you want to call us? Yeah. Focus, don't see. be distracted. I don't know what you said. Focus, Joe focus, focus. said he's getting me these jeans. <laughs> what color? Black. White. This oh, one. black. This one. This one, okay, okay. Ah. So if you give Melody, that's the serum. No, no why? why? I want my jeans torn. What the hell? Amy, <laughs> Tony, Montana, <laughs> Rocky, no, they daily. Anyways, Joe, how are you feeling? Which song is that? I feel good. I feel good. I feel blessed. I'm at peace, you know. Yeah, I'm at that. I'm at that point where... You know, there's always that point in your life where things will just be calm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so I'm at that phase. I, I don't know what happens. Maybe I'll fight somebody. But right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Have, have you but right now, life is good. Ah, I'm going be fighting. You know. <laughs> For real? Ah, oh, my life. I'll be fighting. You know. I like ah, hair, the fight, oh, thank you. Nigga. Thank you. Yeah, I, 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 was, I was trying to cut it off. No, don't. Because I, I was tired. Like, everybody has dreads now. And it's like. No, but yours looks stylish like this. Yeah, yeah. so I was, I was telling the hairstylist. And I was like, oh, I'm looking for a new hairstyle. Like I was looking for... On that cover that... The, that we used to yeah. announce. Yeah. 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 So I was like, okay, let me... She was like, she wanted to try something new. Yeah. And she did it. It's, it's cool. And, and, exactly. and it's going... Bro, when was the last time you fought? That last time, like physically? Yeah. Huh. Maybe my, my brother. That was like probably like... Like secondary school. No, secondary school ish. That was the last time yeah. I actually was in a physical fight because I don't I don't need to fight now. Exactly. Yes, That's no. what I'm saying. <laughs> People yeah. will fight for me. <laughs> yeah. Holy Spirit. Like bro, you Holy get Spirit me. Oh so, you guys please. Holy Spirit. Are you referring to Holy Spirit? Uh, uh, of, you don't want Holy Spirit to fight uh, for you. Our weapons of warfare are serious, not canal. Except, except on it's not Google. His uh, girlfriend uh, is uh, around. That's why. Oh, oh. Uh, pretend, uh, pretend to be religious. Let's go. Let's go. Melody. But, oh, but I quote scripture. Melody. Let's go. Let us not go there. I quote uh-huh. scripture. Please do. <laughs> Give him. Give him. I Why beg are you. you doing this? Let us not go there. Oh, yeah, uh, okay, my girlfriend is not around. Please. <laughs> what? My girlfriend is not around. I'm trying to excel. Excel girlfriend is here. This still works. So, so what? Like, you were right to me. No, no she was right to me. Excel. Excel is always, you know, talking about God and Bible yeah. whenever his girlfriend is around. That's a lie. You see, that is the issue because you're always attacking me. Now I'm uptight. Can you see? Melody, look at that. Hey, see your life outside? Oh. Can, I, can I get a tissue, please? Yes, Anybody? please. Get see your life outside? We criticized the Melody a lot for dancing with artists. Then she went from dancing to fighting artists. Like, <laughs> went from one like, extreme no way. Every time. to the other. No, but every time we link up, okay. we're always Pass in love somebody. and we're always happy. Moto. You know, we're always happy and in love. So I don't know why Who you is in love? always... I'm always, always happy and, and in love. When both of us link up, we're always happy oh, and yes, always no, in love. Yes, it's good vibes. I'm a great vibe. Yeah, I'm a great always. guy. I never seen Joe have problems with anybody. Okay, actually, yeah. no. Never. Mm-mm. Yeah, you think you have a problem with somebody who won't be in the same space. I huh. don't like. Yeah. And you don't, you don't create drama on social media. Yeah. You don't no, come on social media as a rant. Nothing. Yeah. I don't, I don't even like yes. social media. Yeah. Joe Boy and I were having I a conversation. I personally don't like social media. And I was talking about. It's so easy to create a fake. Oh, absolutely. A fake aura and person around you. So it's hard to believe stuff that you see there. 
it's really deceiving sometimes. But is it, isn't yeah. that isn't that also important for like artists to build a perception? Yeah, I understand that now. Yeah. At some point, I felt like it did not matter to be honest, but it does. Yeah, actually. It Are matters. you picking Joe Boy up, please? Yeah, it feels like Joe okay. Boy is far from his market. Okay. Yeah. It does actually. You are yeah. trying to sell your market and yeah. get to another. Yeah. Level. Yeah. So what have you been trying to do in terms of like building that persona? Because right now it still doesn't. It, you, you are still very authentic. I don't yeah. know how you are balancing that. That building a brand okay. and a persona with also remaining authentic. Yeah. So so I, I work with the team and they come up with like different ideas that I feel like okay they represent that. Oh, is this something that I feel is natural to you? Mm. Because if I'm doing something or representing something, it has to be something that I know I could do. In re- in real life, not yeah. Yeah. not acting like one bad guy. Then for hours you did, you know, like yeah. it has to like blend with my real life too. So that's what how I've been trying to find. I don't know. You, I balance. think I think I think you're one of the very few artists that I know that since the first day I met them, and over the years, not not one thing has changed. Yep. Mm. Yes, yeah. sir. Like I'm not saying we'll keep life has to get better, but you, life hasn't gotten better. But you still keep it real, regardless. Yeah. So, so I shout out to you. I think man. I think yeah, something he mentioned is something that is very important. Like Let's go. no matter the brand you try to build or persona you put out there as an artist, it should still be close to who you are. Who you are as a person. Yeah. Because yeah. now the depression it starts now because you now start to have like keeping up. You, you start keeping mic. up with. Okay. Yeah. His mic. Okay. Close Abby. Yeah, because you start good. keeping up with that personality that you put out there, and it gets stressful. And, and, now, you, and now you can't do it anymore. Yeah, I mean, but like, but that's a lot of pressure for one person. Don't you well, think? we be getting money, so. <laughs> <laughs> do you so, so do you want the pressure or not? It's that simple, like, bro. Fact, exactly, bro. like. Do you want the pressure like, or not? Facts. See, like as a, I don't as as, as a. Okay, let me not generalize, but as a person, like, or as somebody that's trying to get somewhere in life, yeah. you should not be avoiding Wala. If you know that Wala is going to help you get to the next level. One more yeah. time for Melody. Yeah, and the so, people that die on So their always time. like trying to just uh, be on that oh, easy route every time is not really Excel. good for growth. Why? Yeah. Joe boy, please repeat that again. Pressure make diamond. Exactly. <gasps> Pressure make diamond. Exactly. Dia. Dia. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I was having a conversation with Joe Boy that the first time I um, held Joe Boy's phone, I think we were trying to do something, I was trying yeah. to help him post something on Twitter. In like two seconds, notifications blowing off. And I was asking him, how do you stay sane with that? Yeah. So, it got to the point, it was just too much. I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to like personally be off social media. Like, So I, I have like people that actually handle that. that. So Maybe you're not on social media? No. Nah. Wow. I am, but I'm not. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get, yeah. 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 timing and yeah. So, yeah. so even like on my phones, like social media apps that I have, there's like a time limit. Oh, wow. So after yeah. a while, it just like locks up. Yeah. That's it's actually good. Yeah, yeah. that's uh, good for. Uh, that. was the first good. person that told me about that. Yeah. I would discipline. love that actually. Yeah, so so it helps me focus because you open Twitter now, you just start scrolling. Yeah. Then there's so many opinions, like yeah. information overload. Yeah. Yeah. Too so many social just, media apps. It's just crazy. Before you know yeah. it, Metolani has done a thread. Before you know it, you've lost track of your reality. <laughs> you, know they, you know they had Metolani do thread. <laughs> you know that? I don't know how he does Metolani it. left Paul to stay right after <laughs> Metolani, <laughs> And do you, know, do you know why I'm even upset? Someone <laughs> someone like tweeted at Tonani and said, oh, Tonani, I will need your review on something. And Tonani had the audacity to say, I don't do reviews anymore. The What you do on Twitter is what? No, I don't review now. That, mm. that thread is what? That was not a review. Tonani, that's review. No. When was the last time I actually gave like a breakdown what i just do is i tweet oh i like this song i like this album he has been on some, down on some kind of on positive some <laughs> 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 like on some <laughs> com- <laughs> compared to the motorline i knew before ah he's the rebrand he goes there he goes there everybody's shit oh i'm like god. bro <laughs> he's the rebrand oh my god it was when i got to meet him person i was like okay he's not really personal maybe that's just the way he likes to like present his the opinion case that be. exactly but <laughs> If I did not know you at that point, I'd be like, ah, this man is a very angry man. <laughs> <laughs> very, very angry man. Yeah. Tonani has rebranded. He has, now he's giving us love and, love and life. Fuck off, bro. Love to see. <laughs> love Joba, to see. Joba, what, what, what are you like when you're on tour? When I'm on tour, I like to I, I like to have fun. I like to... Shout out to you on the, on the recent UK tour. Oh, recent thank UK you, thank tour, you. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to saw you, the bro. videos. Look like yes, you had a good time. Ah, Look like was, you yourself was, enjoyed it. It was a great proper show. Everything, everything, everything came through nice. Sound was great. Everybody came through on time. Filled up, sold out. Doing show. proper venues. Yeah, proper venues, proper shows. You know. Oh my God, <laughs> <laughs> Afrobeat legend. <laughs> <laughs> I 
and his heavy book came on time. Oh my yeah. God. Are you sure it's Afro beat? <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, like, like no, it's UK or UK, they don't play. They don't play. Like, everything yeah. has to be on time. If you go and waste time like this, and they go just shoot everything now. Um, or Ashake was or playing or like the, or, extra, yeah. or something. For every mm. time he. For yeah. every time. Shout out to shout out to, shout out to you guys, man. Yeah. Big time to you guys carrying the flag, flying the flag, mm-hmm. owning the movement and winning. Like I, I so. it must not be easy. It can't be easy. Is it? Uh, well for me I I don't I don't I don't expect great things to be easy. If okay. if like if it ends up being easy then love it. Then love no if it's uh if it's easy, fine. It but God. I don't like I've kind of like preconditioned my mind to just be ready for whatever, whatever comes. Yeah. Cause at the end of the day, when I started making music, I wasn't doing it because oh I wanted to blow, I wanted to be a big star. I just enjoyed making music, hmm. and I'll keep on doing that. And uh-huh. then whatever comes with it, I'll accept it as okay. Maybe that's the cons of being a superstar. Yeah. Yeah. But you starting music at the time and not like having super super expectation like mega superstar and, yeah. and all of that, and you now starting the music regularly and now entering that phase. Mm. Did you? How did you have to change to be able to fit okay. into that stardom that you didn't expect? Okay. I like your dress, Melody. Okay. Yeah, Let me say right. something next to me. Oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Pro. Anyway, so, so for me, I've been, like, I've always been more focused on the process. Hmm. Like, I think we're always in a hurry to get to that particular point. Then you not get there, you not be disappointed. Ah, I thought that all my problems would go away when I get to this point. Ooh. But the issue is, it never goes away. Like once you get to that level, there's another no devil. No more problems. Exactly. You so not succeed your way to happen. So me, I've always been focused on you know what? Right now. God damn! I talk about me. Talk about me. You talk about me. Succeed your way to God happiness. And, 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 God damn! And, 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 this, and, this nigga has been philosophizing. I'm telling you, you're so, a robot. So we always feel like we always feel like oh, when I reach that point, all my problems go away. But. We are wrong because anytime we get to that point that we've been waiting to get to, you now see something that's bigger than what you expected and stuff. So for me, I've always been focused on the process and just like being open to learning and growing. Yeah. That was the first time you realized that though. Like what year, what point did you realize that? Realize what exactly? Like realize that success is... success doesn't cure all the problems. Or it doesn't bring hmm. you it doesn't bring you happiness. It's not the happiness. cure. Like because I I think it was after baby blew up. Mm. Yeah, I have a big song. I have one of the biggest songs in Nigeria, in Africa. Yeah. yeah. And I'm still bothered. I'm like, ah, my next song. Hey, God. Mm-hmm. If you know Bloco, then you not start seeing comments. I'm like, I don't think I can ever make a song as beautiful as this again. Mm-hmm. You go come weeks, say, ah, God. You don't understand. Like, so there was pressure. Like, everybody was feeling me, right? Ah, Starboy, you don't blow. Ah, everyone, the fine girls and everything. Then, but me, I'm worried that. Ah, my next song, my next song, my next song. Oh my God, blue, we got blue. Now it's like it's no longer a joke. You know when you are not blue yeah. yet and you are dropping songs, uh, you can drop another one next week. Nobody, nobody really cares. But now you drop a big song that people already know. Now there's that standard that you put. So people want you to do same or maybe better. Yeah. And that's where the pressure comes. But well, you did you did three over three. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. straight off the bat. Yeah. yeah, thankfully, beginning was not supposed to drop. Wow. Beginning okay. was not going to drop. It was left to me. Beginning was not going to drop. I was in London. I was in London, Oxygen calls me. Like, ah, guy, how far? You should say you won't drop this song like this. Beginning is dropping like three days time. Oh. So I meet, I meet Izzy at some restaurant. I'm like, ah, I'm not dropping Beginning again. I'm like, ah, why not? I said, I'm not confident in the song. Hmm. I wasn't confident in the song. Hmm. And they were like, you know, just drop it. Like, baby is still doing well. So whatever happens, like, you can still, like, just quickly run yeah. back to baby. You get, because yeah. that time it's still a hot song and you're yeah. just yeah. a new artist. And he was like, just try. It was easy. Shout out to Izzy. It was not like, give me Vim to drop Beginning. Like, yeah. I'm not even going to lie. I'm just beginning. That one even blew faster than baby, so. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah, it blew in like less than a week. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, you know what? Let me just focus on doing what I love doing, which is making music. Let the rest sort out itself. Yeah. I, actually, I, I actually feel beginning, sorry, Melody. I actually feel beginning, so, Um, it, it was the one that took you offline for the first time. Like yeah. it went offline. Yeah. Like, did that, yeah, it wasn't like a social, like, like yeah. he entered yeah. everywhere. Every street. Every, it was offline. It was just different offline. demographics. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And then don't call me back was just. Was just tempted yeah. that, okay. Yeah. This boy is not a joke. Yeah. But, but, it's not a fluke. The pre song. <laughs> the pre song. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But. Back to back. Oh. Yeah. Uh, uh, at the time. Don't shit. Back to back in less than six months. <laughs> Actually, yeah. At the time when you had all of this, you know, success, were you unhappy? Hmm. I was unhappy sometimes though. Like that's what I was saying. Like, like, bro, you like the way like the songs were big and popping. Like, it was still that pressure that on oh, my I have to keep keep this up. 
then that's when you now start getting exposed to a lot of very very funny individuals <laughs> like you now be like ah, that's what this life actually be like mm. like you meet some kind of characters and you just be you just be then paranoia will not start because mm. uh-huh. mm. now you don't know which way again because everybody seems to love and like love you, you. Yeah. you understand yeah Meanwhile, so, so is, like so like a serious mental exercise. Is this something you experience at different stages? Yes, now because you have experienced different stages of this success. Mm. Now, is something you have experienced at different. Yes, stages? now they're like like I said, every level there's another devil. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> the higher you go, the, the higher more, d- the, yeah. no gets. You know Bro, so so the higher you go, there's always something. So right now, me, I'm just always always like focused on enjoying myself. Okay, is this a great moment? Is this a great time? Yeah. yeah. I enjoy it. I take it all in. I mm. make memories. Mm. Uh-huh. I, w- I prepare for whenever it's time to yeah. fight or do something crazy. But you enjoy exactly. the moment in the time. Yeah, it's very very important. I, I, th- I think we're always so focused on our uh, next thing, next thing, next thing that we fail to realize. What we actually have in that particular moment. Yeah, human yeah. beings. Yeah. A, a lack of gratitude. Yeah. Say, We're always in a rush. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. At what point did you realize that human beings are dishonest or people are weird? Like, at what? Someone put out a tweet for like balance in relation to what you said. So somebody yeah. said, I was so naive while I was dating in my 20s. My parents had a great union, they were all I knew. I thought every guy would be honest and love me until I got into this, this, this stage. And people started responding, talking about like their experiences. Another person responded saying, as my mother says, the easiest person to lie to is someone who grew up in a family where everybody tells the truth. Yeah. So at what point did you enter with your innocence and the innocence? Yeah. Like, wait, yeah. people so, are weird. So me growing up, like me and my family were like really, really tight. Like really, really tight. Like mm. everybody had that, like mutual respect there was no oh i'm older than you so i can do whatever i want yeah. kind of pillar. there was mutual respect oh you want my shoe yeah just let me clean it back when it was like there's no ah don't touch my thing like we never used to act like that we're always like sharing our stuff and so the way i grew up if this is my shirt it's my brother's shirt too like mm. there was no biggie there was no big deal about it mm. except except this one particular shirt that i really like <laughs> 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 but, yeah, but, oh, yeah. but, but there was that ah, okay are you wearing this pee right now? You know where okay, can okay. rock it. Like, so there was yeah. this like freedom in sharing stuff. Yeah. So I expected everybody to be like that. To be like that now, to be like 100 and straightforward. And I just realized that everybody's just like, not everybody, almost everybody just like likes to play games, especially in the industry. The industry is where you find like Is this why the craziest of people? <laughs> the music industry, entertainment industry. Afrobeats. Is this why yeah. you, you for a long time yeah. you didn't do a lot of collaborations? For your own okay. records. Okay, so collaborations for, for me at that point, like collaborations yeah. for me, like it's easier for me to make a song with you if I feel like I have a personal relationship with you. Yeah. Back then, if I felt like, yeah. I mean, I always just with my guys, I was just always in my own space. I always had my own space. I will create my music with Oxygen Mix and I'll put it out. Even like, Don't Call Me Back, it was um, Mr. Easy that sent it to my uncle. I had no idea. I was like, ah, send me what you record. I sent it, Don't Call Me Back. I was like, okay, I'll send it to my uncle. My uncle sent it us back. He liked it. Then I went to link up with him. I just had like a great cool time. Yeah. My uncle is actually a very, very cool guy. Some of the actually yeah, I've heard. like hey, we can sit down and be chilling. Like, guys, there's no, no wala. Yeah. There's no wala. You get like, and that's come across a lot of guys like that in the industry. <laughs> hmm. If you get my drift. So, so so yeah, and so for me, making music at that point in time, I was just like, I didn't I, I didn't used to make music to feature anybody in mind. Hmm. Like, once it's complete, it's complete. So and it was going like that for a while, and I realized, that, okay, it's time to. When did that change, though? I think that was after sip. Yeah, I think that was after sip. I was like, oh no, when sip actually dropped, I was like, okay, I think it's time for me to start doing <clears> features <throat> now, yeah. featuring people. And the funny thing was that I didn't even actually realize that I didn't feature because I used to jump on people's songs now. Yeah, yeah. So I just woke up one day like, wow, I've only featured like two people in my entire career, like three years. Then I already featured Mr. Easy, Mayo Kun, and Kweisioto. I'm like, oh, I need to change that. you've been the hot, bro. Yes, yeah, so, so I didn't realize it. I just, I don't, I don't woke up one day, I'm like, oh man, I know they feature yeah. anybody, you. Yeah. I'm like, okay, let, let me start sharing this light. How's your Ghanaian arm still? Uh, Ghana is sweet now. Ghana is always sweet. Ghana will always be sweet. Like, you know, that place, that country, they've shown me so much love and support. Like, it feels like, anytime I go there, it feels like a, like a second home. Do you feel conflicted anytime Nigerians and Ghanaians are fighting and people are not mentioning, oh, Drew Boy, Mr. Easy, mm. they are friends, blah, blah, blah. Do you feel conflicted? Conflicted? No, nope. nope, people always argue and stuff now, but yeah. 
<laughs> if you know what is what, you know what is what. That's just the it. Ghana, so, the Ghana love. Did it come? I mean, I know that yes, they heard yeah. your music and they loved it, but also the fact that you came on that easy, mm. did that help? Yeah, that helped. That really, really helped. And the fact that one of like the major industry songs I made then was with the Ghanaian act, King yeah. Promise yeah. and yeah. Guilty Beats, and, and Guilty Beats, yeah. King Promise and Guilty Beats. And also, so there's like a Ghanaian thing. They they nicknamed their boys like Joe Boy. Oh. So there's a nickname like you could be walking on the street and somebody's like, ah, Joe Boy. That was before oh, I before grew up. You. Oh. So okay. when they asked her, oh, there's this guy. His, An actual his Joe name Boy. is Joe Boy, and his songs was blowing up in Ghana. So they kind of just like. Uh, held on to that together. yeah god damn it yeah me, um sense. meanwhile i wanted to ask something about like family uh, like yeah. how many siblings are you the first no i'm the last one what yeah i'm the last one i didn't know that how many siblings do you have i have um three siblings um two other brothers one other sister mad yeah meanwhile um were you living at home were you still living at home when baby dropped i was still it was when beginning drops that i moved oh yeah yeah I was still saying your leg by that point, but I could not. I could not go out because people were started spotting me. Yeah. Oh, so uh, that was the first me. time someone spotted you, and you're like, "Oh, I can't do this anymore." Bro, what? Like that was even before baby blow, but baby was already out then, but it wasn't blowing yet. Where I was, you? I used to enter boss go studio now, <laughs> go public now. So I they look outside for window in my earpiece now. <laughs> they look outside, they fantasize about my life. So I'm like, Ah, Joe boy. I say, Fuck. <laughs> wow. I was like, inside wow. the house. Wow. I was like. How wow. did you recognize me? Because at that point, I didn't think people would know my face because it was an animation now. Yeah. And yeah. not like I was posting on social media like that. So, I'm like, damn, it's real. At that point, I just stopped entering bus, bike, anything. It was not Uber. 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 Then, so I decided to move. I moved I moved to my first ever place. It felt so weird. Because growing up, like, I used to stay with my parents yeah. all through. All of a sudden, I'm staying by myself. I was, I was like 22 then. And, yeah. It was a very, very weird experience. So I packed all my friends. With you, house. right? Because I was not used to staying alone. Yeah, voice Yeah, so I packed everybody to the house. Who, who are the friends you packed? Um, then there was um, Sama, there was Tula, there was Tula, there was AB, and a couple of Oxygen. Oxygen too was staying with me. Wow. Beats by K was staying with me one time. <laughs> Dara was staying with me one time too. Ah, yeah. Dara. Yeah, so it was like it was like a boy's house. But like, I can't do this all alone. No, I was just, I just, I, I just didn't want to be yeah. easy. I'm not, I wasn't used to sitting alone at that point. Yeah. And I was young now, so like, I can't go sit now for us, so leave me. So I spark boys and we just play video games. How big was the house? Was it a three bed, four bed? Okay, at that point, it was a, it was a duplex. It was a duplex then. Yeah, it was um, a duplex, so it was big, like four bed. From Odrey Lebax to duplex. To duplex, straight to. Like, this vest from, your hand down. Straight to. When, <laughs> when, you, when, you, when you go here now, did, by this time, have, did you start like, bringing in the, the, girl, the girl them? Okay, so. The yard. I didn't like bringing girls. Why? To the, to the house. Okay. I rather like rent an apartment and oh, stuff. Oh, link up. Yeah. I'm supposed to come to there. Because if I if I feel like I don't want to have anything that serious with you, I don't want to give For you enough, that. I'm knocking on the gate. Yeah, I don't want to give that idea. Of, oh, you're there yet, so yeah, yeah. No, so. meet outside. Yeah, exactly. Are you a serious relationship guy, or are you a? Do you like to have fun as well? Oh, I think I think the fun I needed to have, I've had it already. Hmm. Yeah, because how many fuck are all fuck like? Facts. Like, bro, like, not, how many you, don't see, you don't see Stormzy. Not in the streets. Why you go fuck that? But you yeah. get my point. Like, how many yeah. fuck I don't fuck? So at some point, you just have to just decide that, okay, it's time to just do things in a healthy way. Like, but, you can't be living like that for a long time. Oh, it's absolutely. Going, it's going to it's cause, cause now, issues. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think it's I healthy. understand what you're saying. And a lot of times, when people, a lot of young artists or artists who are still like aspiring to blow in quotes yeah when they their their opinion or their idea of this blowing thing is ah once i get that hit song or once yeah. i get that one song that's my <laughs> that, no that's when your that's problem my, actually starts no, no, that's <laughs> because my now you have to keep up because you don't want to be that guy that says, ah, this guy blew ah but you know kind of you know you know the blue you know nobody know I mean. and they'll let you know the no, fans no, no. will let you know ah, they'll rub the, 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 yeah. of course they'll rub it they'll in your face you know. now like there's one thing people love to see like more than like they love to see a, a person rise up and they also love to see a person fall for, more than yeah. the person rising up. So I uh, something negative that uh, they'll rub it in your face. So. That, that makes me remember the have you seen Air, the movie? Which one? Michael, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. No, no, I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing. I think you should see that movie. So okay. where the guy was giving a speech about to Michael Jordan, where, where, where he was saying people will build you up. Oh my God, they will build you up. Mm. Sometimes and they, they tear you down. They tear, no, they will always tear you back down. Tear you down. Yeah. yeah. But the question I was even trying to ask with that with uh, when I was speaking earlier was. 
a lot of artists feel like once they get that one hit song, that's mm-hmm. their journey or that's their that's their way out of the trenches. Yeah. Like once the song is already blown, or maybe one week in, yeah, I'm going to start. buy I'm buying the biggest house in Banana Island. At what point were you still jumping boss while you had baby? Was the song not big enough? Or was no, it, it was. Big? It was. It was like it was getting traction. Like but it wasn't maybe that big. In Union Lab, people knew the song, okay. but it wasn't like we won't call okay. it like a mainstream. Ma- okay. Hit okay. Then it was okay. like probably like a read a well-known radio song because that time. Okay. Shout Sound City, they used to play that song like back to back to back yeah. to back. Sometimes I'll be inside Uber and the Uber that will be like vibing. Like, ah, this song's sweet though. Nigga, nothing like you. And you know it's me. I'll just be smiling. Like, Look at this guy. <laughs> 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 this is One yeah. Day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so that was it. And it was at some point I realized that it's time to, because I could not go out. I could not step yeah. out of my house. Like, I could step out. At, at, the only time I could step out was at night. Yeah. Huh. What's your currency? Eh? Your parents? They didn't understand it yet. Mm. They didn't understand what was going on yet until I sent them money. <laughs> and they knew what sucks. They knew, ah, okay, okay, it's what's, real. What's it <laughs> <laughs> so they didn't understand at that point yet. So I just told you, I think it's time for me to move on and stuff. And I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah. Freaking duplex. You've gotten to yeah. a stage now where I feel like you can take on artists if you wanted yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. You can. So that's something. In, in yeah, yeah, that's way. that. Like, after after my music career, I see myself being a combination of Olamide, Don Jazzy, Jay Z, and Pharrell. Hmm. A so, combination of these four people. Yes. You mentioned. Yeah. So even if or even when I decide to stop making music as a profession, I'll still be very much involved and influential as an executive producer, A and R type person. Hmm. Yeah, I see that because there's been so many a lot of artists or songs that I'll just point out and say, ah, "This song is going to be big." And he ends up being big. Like, oh. voice tweeted about it one time. If Joe Boy says, ah, check out this artist, don't worry. So, I know that I have good years for music. Yeah. Yeah. So, when I knew was when Excel played Joe Boy some music last year. Joe Boy was like, that's not a single. Hmm? Yeah, so when, when you came on Pulse, yeah. Yeah. on our podcast, our former podcast, yeah. when we finished, I played you some songs. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you, you pointed out, that's not a single. You were like, this one is not a single. This is a single. Yeah. A, single. a lot of people don't have, it's a, it's, a, it's a unique ability that a lot of people yeah. don't have. Yeah. Because one, one thing I know and understand is that sometimes a good song is not always a hit song. Facts. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And a hit song doesn't it's necessarily mean a good song. Yeah. Just like, my just yeah. perfect timing. So yeah. that's why I believe that when it comes to making music, don't make music with any like, Expectation in mind, just create a case in point for you. A song that I think should have should be one of your biggest songs, yeah. but it's not. It's contour, yeah. But you know, the thing about contour, Joe Boy like that song. Eh? I, I love, song. I, lo- I love song. that song. That's Joe Boy's favorite Joe Boy song. I love that song. Oh, no, there's a new one that is going to drop. Like, that's not your Joe Boy favorite song. I know. There's a new one that's going to drop, like, okay. um, before the end of the year, like okay. last quarter. Hmm. That one. But for now, I see Contour as your favorite for now, I see Joe Contour. Boy song. Contour? Contour? Yeah, that's ah. his favorite Joe Boy song. What's your favorite Joe Boy song, Excel? Um, it's between beginning and... It's between beginning and... Um, mm. Do. Do. Yeah. Do. 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 Yeah. Do. Do. Yeah. I love it immediately. I heard it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what's your favorite? My favorite Joe Boy song is like somewhere between Beauty and Magic. The whole album. The whole album. The album. Yeah, but it's true. I, this one I can testify because I wrote around the melody that period. The and Melody will play the album beginning to end everywhere she was driving. Everywhere. I heard, I heard your song is Oshé. Ah, ah Oshé. So, and that's the thing that album, that's, that, that's that albums do. Song. Like, like when you have an album that has a lot of beautiful songs, some songs ah, just get yes. Oshé. Oshé is a yes. great song. Then th- there's this song on Somewhere Between Beauty and Magic. I think it's, um, is it Police? Yeah, police. Yeah, police. Is it talking about, was it about love? No, 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 no. It no. was about love. Yes, police. Yeah. But from, from this new album, song. it's from, from this new album, mm. it's normally a chicken spice and curry. Mm. Chicken I love and curry. That's, that's, that's a love jam. Yeah. Better I was surprised. I love it so much. Better. You loved better. Yes. My guy has loved better since. Yeah. Like, yeah. You used to tell me about that. Like, was it not like three? You used to tell me about this. But then I used to tell me, ah, why you never dropped this song? Why you never dropped this song? So I was like, you know what? I will just drop it. Because personally, I wouldn't have dropped that song, but everybody kept saying this song is beautiful and all. Song. Like, okay, let me put this out. But navigating your love in Ghana, so the love that you receive from Ghana as a country, yeah. is it from the fans or is it from, is it from just the fans or is it from? It's the not, fans it wasn't just the fans, from the and, fans to okay. and the artists because yeah. there's when it comes to music in Afrobeat space, there's always different conversation from Ghanaian artists yeah. about you know um, mm. Nigerian artists. It now feels like the, the field or the Energy is getting no, I, I, worse. I, I, I don't. I don't think there's any real feud. Like, are you sure? 
I, so does it, between does me, it, sir, me, me yeah. and Ghanaian artists, like, we're cool. Like, they show me love. They've been showing me love since the reform came. Promise to Sakode, yeah. to, to Kidi. Mm-hmm. To Kiddy, mm-hmm. every everybody like or almost everybody. Let me not say everybody. What's your favorite non Joe Boy song this year? Non Joe Boy song this year. Let me check my phone. Uh-huh. But uh-huh. just to follow up on what you were talking yeah, about, about to say there are certain people in life yeah. that have this like ability thing to them. They what just have it. Some yeah. people just have it. Why are you one real? of those people? Yeah, when you're right. No, Joe but but I, I feel like it's a general conversation that. It's, it's not. It's not necessarily about Joe Boy. I feel like there's a, there's an there's an energy from Ghanaian artists when it comes to it's like. Not all of them. Not all of them. Not making it sound like it's all. Not all of them, but enough feels like a a problem. The people no. where they talk um, they see them no. for. Chat. There's this. There's this. There's this thing that was trending last week where somebody said, "Let me let me read out the let me read out the post." Someone said, "There's an ongoing silence war." Wait now, Tonani. There's an ongoing silence war against Ghana music actively spearheaded by some Nigerian gatekeeper, gatekeepers. They don't want to see Ghana That's anywhere top. close I promise you, to like... the global success of Afrobeat. And I think this person mm. is someone that works with Stoneboy. I promise you, it's, it's, not, it's never that serious. Everybody just trying to yeah. just, like, push their feet. Yeah. It's never really that serious. Like, yeah. if you're actively, like, trying to block somebody from getting somewhere, you're also kind of affecting yourself. Like, focus. everybody's... Like, Nigerians, like, we're kind of focused on our own PR. Just yes, trying to get are. to next. It's not... Like, even if, like, we do banter on Twitter, it's never really... That deep. That deep, to be honest. Like, nobody is trying to stop anybody from being the greatest. Nobody can actually stop you from being the greatest. Shata, Shata Wale came yeah. out and... The bo- trashed this person. Yes, oh, really? Yeah. 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 Shata Wale has been going hard for Nigeria. Nigeria. You're, you're not me, serious. Me, Nigerian me, artists are hard work. Like, nobody can actually stop like, like, Nobody can actually stop Shata anybody. Shata So, he said, Nigerians are making Ghana music look like feeding bottle. Compared to Hennessy Shata Wale has bars, man. Congrats to Ashake. You guys, they run too fast, though. Some Ghana man say, how do they do it? Me, when you stop judging people here like you are angels, I think you can get the formula. Nigeria is winning big time, my people. Remember who you are, who? <laughs> ah, One of the greatest <laughs> best. Shatawale say, I'm a Nigerian, sorry. Shatawale ate Beyonce. Bro! Please calm down, calm down. He did, he destroyed Beyonce. Calm down, please. No, 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 but it came through. Bro, he came through. 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 He destroyed her. I did not believe it when I heard it the first time. Bro. I was in shock. Bro. He did well, but... No, 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 yeah, Jared. Yeah, that was yeah, Jared's song. Song. Yeah. So now, did you check your non favorite uh-huh. Joe Boy song? This Does it have to be like a big known song? No, no. no. whatever you're listening to. Doesn't have to be. I don't really listen to mainstream music actively. You've like, said this okay. before. You said this before. Yes, yeah, my own, my own, like, me are fans of like underground artists yeah. because yeah. Huh, yeah, music sweet. So I'll just mention a couple of people that are feeling. Maybe like one or two people. So there's an endless ocean. Shout out an endless yeah. ocean. Gang, gang. Just dropped an album. Please yeah. go check it Just out. Just dropped an album. Yes, yeah, go. Yeah. Deca Gone. Yes. He oh. dropped an album. Deca Gone. Thank Gun. you for letting yeah. me know. Please go check out Deca Gone by yeah. an Endless so Ocean. That's, Amazing that's album. somebody. That's somebody I'm Great really, guy. really. What's your favorite an Endless Ocean song? Um, Nazarene. Really? Yeah. Ah. Bro, not the first EP. I, I, not, not that's it. I've just like downloaded a couple of his songs. I didn't know you had, Bro, had an EP. That, that, yeah. that first EP. Your love is yeah. solid. No, that was, I, that I, was I, solid. Yeah, that's that, that, that music with substance. That was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, se- I'm telling you. Yeah. I almost choked. Why are you choking? Oh me? my god. <laughs> Why are you choking? <laughs> God, I beg. Yeah, shout out, oh shout out, God. shout out, Endless Ocean. That's that's a really good yeah, call. Yeah, that's yeah, really, really great. So Who's really the good second one? Uh, the second one. Let me see. Hmm. Let me let me mention the mainstream song. Ah, for because like for me to actually like really say I love a song, like it, could, it has to be a song that I could imagine myself singing. Yeah, yeah. yeah like if I feel like oh I like I love I like the song I like the song so much that ah I, I wish, wish I, I sang the song. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. So let me see again. Which one again? I have to check my phone. I listen to too much music. Let me see. I mean, that's one thing that I think a lot of artists don't do. Listen to other people's music? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Artists don't listen to enough music. Okay, and I but, get but, that a lot. But she's actually no, she's not she's not a Nigerian artist. Who's yeah, the person? Right. Yeah. So I've been listening to Yeba a lot. I've been using Yeba. Yeba. Yeah. Yeah, so there's this, this, project, uh, this, this, project. this project. The electric, the live at the electric. Yeah, so anytime I'm just stressed, I just... 
Oh, just play it on last on speaker. Bro, bro, did you hear the instrumentation on that song? Actually, it's beautiful. Like that's like, that's like music that that heals. Like you just you just calm down. Oh my, the chords, the arrangement of that song is crazy. What I what I love about the whole story of Yeba and her project, and then this EP is that Yeba was a big fan of um, is it Angelo? Is it D'Angelo? D'Angelo. She's a big fan of D'Angelo. So, and he, he influenced her music. So, when she now I had can hear. proper funding mm. to make music, she went and found the Aww. producer she worked with. Aww. She found Mark, Rock, Mark, Ronson, Mark Ronson. She found Quest Love. That's those amazing. two ones. I said, uh, okay, she, let's, she, let's she, work. But the drums on that particular song. Bro. No. On this electric lady. No, no, no this particular nah, EP. Nah, nah. So, nah, Quest yeah, Love played the drums on this, on this electric lady. Yes, now. The, the videos are on YouTube. Go check. Oh. Quest Love played drums. Go check. Mm. The videos are on YouTube. Juba, do you watch BB Ninja? No. What? Um, um, almost everything I know. They is, are not paying is, us, um, against, my, against my against my will. Against your will. Everything yeah. you know about Bibi Niger. Except almost. from except from Lakers. Set, set, set. Set. I was actively watching it, yeah. Because it was your guy before I went to It wasn't house. like that's the funny thing, it wasn't even my guy. Like, it was just somebody I knew. I was just happy to see somebody I knew move forward. Like, yeah. so I was like, okay, and let me just support him. Shout out, yeah. shout out, Lake One. Yeah. I wish that I still till today, I wish Fierce came out after I went to after I came out of the house. It would have been a bigger song. Yeah. Today. That's what I still wish would happen with him. Yeah. That song would have song. been massive. That's the song he featured someone. Oh, Reminisce. Yeah, and she could have oh, been. Yeah. Yeah. That's a jam. Yeah. Amazing. What do you do to relax, Joe Boy? Uh, huh. Um, uh, if I'm in Lagos, my house is my relaxation spot. Like, there's nothing. Stay at home. I'm looking for that I need. That's not inside my house. Because Lagos, like going out in Lagos is can stressful. be very stressful sometimes and stuff. So, but if I'm outside Lagos or outside Nigeria, yeah. hey, so I could just like um go do some adventurous stuff. Like yeah. I know I've said it before, like yeah. skydives. Yeah. Jump inside water, parasailing and stuff. But I've been, I've been seeing too many stories about things going wrong now. <laughs> I mean, I want, me tell you like I really want to enjoy my life. <laughs> but like, it's because it's like God knows I love this thing. So and I've been seeing too many stories about something going wrong. I mean, man, part something broke off. And I was, so I think that it's time for me to just relax because I, I go in when it comes to like having that yeah. kind of. Fun. Ah, like you, you, think, you, you think I want you think I want to pass on it because I used to like I love it. I love the way it feels. Yeah. Like it makes me feel good. When after. Yeah. In the moment I'm scared as fuck. But when it's done, I'm the happiest person ever. So yeah, yeah but okay. I think I'm going to chill on nice. that. But that's what I love to do basically. Now let's say And I like family time to be honest. Like oh. I, I was just coming from my nephew's birthday party. Oh my yeah. Oh. Yeah, That was, was one question I wanted to ask yeah. again. Like what how do you keep up with family these days it's a two-pronged question yeah. and what about family keeps you grounded this yeah days? It's a okay question. so how do i stay into so I, i've made it a conscious effort a conscious effort to make sure i'm always like in touch with family and stuff because i think we bother too much about things that won't matter in five years time Bro. yeah Facts. family will always be there yeah Family will ten years from now, whether you have money or whether you don't have money, they'll be there. Hmm. When I know have money, they were there. Yep. Like, bro, there was a time that it was my brother that used to like that used to pay my school fees at some point. Hmm. Hmm. You don't understand. So so me, I don't I don't personally I don't play family because I know that okay, those are the people that I know hundred percent. Like They're like I don't have you. any doubt in my mind. I can live see, I can live all my money with my family members and I know that nothing's going to happen. Hmm. Do you understand? Yeah, so, and if you know that you have those kind of people in your life, I think it's very, very important to make sure that you maintain a very, very healthy, consistent relationship. So, when it's family time, it's family time. I don't play with that. Do they yeah. help keep you grounded? 100%. Like, have, 100%. have there been times where you, like, maybe you were, like, kind of, like, moving mad? No, but that's the thing, like, even, I was, even, if, even if I move mad, it's never for long because I like to introspect. Hmm. Sometimes I just like to be with myself and just, like, Think do through. like life assessment. I'll just sit down. Melody can, can learn it or two. I can. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what that means, but I I I, I like to pride myself as someone who does that. So yeah. Shut your mouth. Continue. So your so so once in a while, I could just like decide to just pack my bags. Don't fight. <laughs> <laughs> so so once in a while, I could just decide to like. Think? I could just decide to like pack my bags and just travel to one country that 
I'm pretty sure not a lot of people will know me. And just mm. Are like there a lot of countries like that these days? Not in Africa, really, not, not really, really a lot, but there's always that part of that country. I'll just yeah. ask. I, I ask is something like, what country do you think I can go to? So just like, they exist as a normal human being. Yeah, and you just because me London is not Lagos abroad. No, London, no. Lond- London, yeah. London. I was walking on the. I wanted to get something at this supermarket, and people, some girls say, "Chow boy, chow boy." I'm like, "I know, yeah. I'm sorry, guys. Please see this podcast. I have to pretend like I didn't hear you guys." <laughs> Because I know one while. So where I knew that was very funny was when yeah. I went to SA with them soft. Like, okay. bro, soft dancer. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Bro. People are shouting. No jokes. Real huh. life. Yeah. So you were confused. Like, what's in this? Song? What the hell? Yeah. Like it was that day that I realized how much power TikTok had on young people. And this were yeah. people under 18. Hmm. Under 19. Young people always. Hmm. It was very crazy. I didn't realize it until that point. But so how bo- so how much more? A job boy. Someone, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. So, Not like Australia. So my like to drive this. <laughs> I can just go to Madagascar. And this, I don't post that. Like, sometimes I never be online. I'll just be there. Hmm. I could be speaking to somebody selling coconut water. I'll just have like normal that's random life. Normal random conversations, and that's like one of the most beautiful moments about life. Where you can just like connect people be without normal. any form of. Yeah, but you need a PA. Hmm? Like. Nah. You can. Mm. Don't worry. <laughs> I don't need it. <laughs> can I kind of hire me? You know, just, <laughs> just be touring around. Shut so, yeah. can't work on it's that okay. pressure, so she won't, she won't <laughs> fit in. Are you crazy? She won't fit in. Like, fuck off, bro. But she yeah, I think in. I think that's even something that a lot yeah. of young, like, creatives need to pay attention to more. That downtime. Because yeah. I, I find it that people get carried away with their applause. Yeah, like... <laughs> when they're in that space, like, when you're popping, when you're making money, people get carried away with the validation from external forces yeah like it's out- beautiful it's beautiful to see people come across that are excited to see and say oh i love yeah. you so much but i don't think it's something that she bank on as an individual mm-hmm. that ah if people don't like me i'm going to feel bad mm. or if people don't like the music i put out i'm going to feel bad it has nothing to do with you mm. that's that's, what, that's the place yeah. where i got to in 2020 okay sorry <laughs> nice um Guys, we're still here. Zero Conditions Podcast. We're about to go on a break. Okay. In case you miss any of our discussion while the break is on, please remember that the full video and audio comes out on Monday on all platforms. So you can check it out then. Join us back and we'll see you soon. Excel, why are you dressed like a roadman? Nah, my brother. So roadman team. Funny enough, this, this AC where they add... <laughs> So when we had Don Jazzy as our first guest, he was sweating a lot. I, I know uh, you did this intentionally. And our studio people oh said, okay, shout out to Pop Central. This is hold Pop my Central beer. Pop Central crew said, okay, we'll knock one crazy ass thing. Bro. So every week, if you, if you watch, Bro. you see me doing like this. <laughs> if you go out, you see me doing like this, I'll put hand in my pocket. So I say, so I'm like, ready for you guys. Excel, I see. I'm ready for this The first this time we came you know, to the pod after the Don Jazzy episode, and I saw the AC blue. I couldn't even complain because I know how many times I called Nancy. Nancy, what is going on? So when I saw him, I said, ah. Shout out, shout out to Nancy. I said, ah, Melody, you can't complain. Just take whatever you get because now you complain, say, you know, day. Yeah, <laughs> so that's why, that's why I decked out. But yeah. Roadman thing. Yeah, hmm. we, 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 we push it. Um, so I attribute to Stormzy. No, 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 no. Um, big congrats to Stormzy. God. Um, <laughs> looks like he's got his old thing back. <laughs> Oka, ah, finally. Okafor's law still wow. in effect. How many are, how many are there? There's a man like Okafor's law. Stop yanning bullshit. It is though. It is not. This is a man that went to, went to war for his girl. Do you know the baby almost got married? She almost got married to, to Ben Simmons. Simmons. No, but they had broken up before the storm. Eh, the manicure, pedicure. <laughs> manicure, pedicure. That man dropped an album. That man <laughs> dropped an album. Joe Boy, as a person, how big are you on forgiveness? As a person, um, it's hard for me to forgive. I can't lie. Ah, Melody is like <gasps> this. Here, you guys are lying. I'm sorry. I'm so I'm trying though. Yeah, you I guys can't are hold aligned. a grudge because one thing I like to do is like when it comes to like relationships with other people, I like to be make sure I do everything right. Mm. Mm. So when somebody actually acts funny with me, I take it personal because mm. like I'll never do that to you. Why are you doing that to me? Yeah. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. So I take it personal. So I might even forgive. It might take a while though, but I'll forgive. But it's just that before. It would be very difficult for me to give that person access again. But in your yeah. case, it'd be like, say, they take before you reach that point. Of forgiveness. Of of like, okay, th- I'm done Fuck with this off. person. It'd hmm. be like, say, they take where you, where you go reach that point of offense. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not like any... Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that. I, I know the... Unlike like, our... To be honest, I know the quick vex. I our colleague I won't yeah. just get mad immediately. I could just, like, give you, like, one or two Unlike chances. Unlike our colleague here. Yeah. What does that mean? Yeah, I finished, she finished. It finished, bro. Finished. The wine is you bought one bottle of wine. And you're still looking for extra. Better sit down. Come on, bro. You know we drink more than this. Listen, bottle, bottle, bro. We still have 
not. Except you finished it because I just took small out of that wine. Listen, what can I say? <laughs> well, wait, wait, Excel, are you are you saying that I I? Be- you find it hard to forgive. People you find it hard to I forgive. I do, but don't make it look like I just become unforgiving immediately. You uh, you you the quick Benu. <laughs> Fuck you. you the quick Benu. So I think I understand that now. Hearing from Joe Boy, to be very fair, no, I of course think you that shut up. I think that the reason I would feel that way is because I. I won't just I won't yeah. do certain things to you. Yeah, and I was speaking to a friend and I won't, I, I promise. And I was speaking I to a friend. The person told me that um I think the best way to overcome that is to stop expecting everybody to act like you. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Yep. So what month was Joe Boy born? Uh May. No oh. tell me you are doing do you a believe you you thing. Uh the good part. So if, for example they say, Oh, you're a Gemini, you are going to be a billionaire, I'll accept that. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll receive it. Oh, yes. yes, let's go, bro. Yes, let's I'm go. I'll be, but you tell me that I'm a Gemini and I will not be able to. I will not. I won't be successful at one particular class. I will not agree with that. Like, why should I just give up because one star sign says that? Why this? You don't believe in ritual grade. Your Venus, your sign. No, I believe in the good part. <laughs> if I say, oh, if you are born on May 21st, tomorrow you are going to make a million dollars. I accept it. Gang, gang. Our line. But you tell me that tomorrow something will happen to me. I'll, I'll reject it now. Like Nibo. Like, so that's just it for me. Motorani of so, so, people to yeah. bring up horoscope is you. I mean, I've been I've been reading a lot about it. Yeah. Why? So, so for me, when it comes to star signs, I would I only believe it's real, sure. The positives, and I don't like I don't I don't like when people blame their art their bad facts characteristics. Make on, oh, oh, I'm a I'm a Leo. That's why. Oh, I'm an Aquarius. That's why I do this. Like, no, yeah, just you just don't want to take responsibility for your actions. I do believe that it's fixed up. I actually believe that it's real. It's I also real. think that there is like I, exaggeration. I believe, I believe it's real because some in some ways the Bible sort of supports it. Because of the birth of Jesus. The birth of Jesus, times and, and also there are a lot of like references to like times and seasons oh. and yeah. things they bring. And the Bible talked about the sons of Issachar understood the different times and yeah. they were ahead of everybody else in Israel. Welcome back, guys. If you missed any of that, we're on a break. The full thing is out Monday on streaming platforms. And the full video is out on YouTube. We were just talking about star signs because apparently Motolani's <laughs> girlfriend has been teaching him a thing or two. And this, apparently, and this guy is true. talking about star signs. True. The last person I expected. Shout out to his girlfriend. Star star <laughs> Anyways, I was talking, reading the book of Job too. There's a lot of like references to like how different times are. So I think that it's a thing. Yeah. I believe in time and season though. Yeah. I, I believe in time and season. What do you believe about time, time and season? So, um, but I, so for me, I feel like there's a time where everything just like falls into place for you. Hmm. With or without your effort? Yes. And there are also times where you can do everything in your possible power to get something and it still won't work. Hmm. So I feel that moments where things are not really going the way you want them to be, I think that's a time or a moment to actually just sit back, introspect and learn from whatever situation you are going through. Hmm. But I feel like when we are going to difficult points, it's like a chance for us to level up and become better. Yeah. Because sometimes if some things don't happen, you won't get, On that you won't be knowledgeable or have that experience about it. So that's why I see it. So these days, when I'm going to something difficult, I just sit down, I'll pray and be like, God, open my eyes to the lessons I need to you learn. You pray? I pray. You- I know get, I know they do jazz now. I got spray now. Like, you have to see, let me, like, let's even forget all this, like, woke and all. You see, if you're not doing jazz, you have to pray. Like believe in something, bro. Like, you have to me. you have to pray. Like you have to have like a spiritual sorry. No. You have to have like a spiritual like backing in some way. Hmm. So that you, is very, very important. Do you think that people that are of the opinion that um spirituality or religion uh, like or like overrated? Do you believe that spirituality or religion is overrated and that people put so much power in I an feel external factor. Okay. Or like people putting too much power in a supreme being, like whatever it is that you make of yourself is your doing. Okay, one thing I know for sure is that there's something somewhere or there's somebody or there's a Higher force power. bigger than us. Yeah. Down down, I know down for sure. And I understand that people have different perspectives of their life. So I can only speak from my own perspective and the way I see it. So I cannot say, Oh, because you don't believe in this thing, or you must believe in what I believe in. I believe in what I believe in and I believe that it's working for me. If you don't believe in it, that's also fine. Do whatever works for you. It's a free world. What, what do your tattoos mean? So personally, me, I like I like nature. I like I like plants. I have like four plants in my room. Mm. I named them. One one is Anthony, one is Thelma, one is Raphael. 
And I think I named one Vanessa. Yeah, I can't, can't remember. Vanessa? Yeah, and I talked Vanessa. to them actually. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah. Talking to nature. Yeah, I talk to like them. Like you ask them questions or you tell them what you feel? No, I just tell them how I feel. Like I think it's better to talk to plants sometimes and talk to human beings. <laughs> because they're not going to talk about yeah. it. Because they won't judge you. <laughs> yeah. So just to, just, to, just to add to what um, Joe Boy said yeah. before about times and season and how like mm. sometimes when you're going through problems, it means that like maybe uh, yeah, it's time for it to switch it up. Time yeah. for it to switch it up. The Bible says oh my God. Oh my in God. the book of James chapter 1 verse 2, Count it all joy exactly. when tests and challenges come at you from all sides. Word. You know that under pressure, your life is forced into the open and show through colors. So let patience do its work so that you can become mature. Melody, this for you. Yeah. Well developed, not yeah. deficient in any way. So, <laughs> how am I deficient? I did, well, you said, Melody, this is why for you. Why didn't you stay on the mature or the well developed? Why not deficient? You, <laughs> well, you know how the, am I deficient? You, know you said, Melody, this for you. you know the truth is that, eh? Trigger. That, no, 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 no. The truth is that honesty responds to the truth when you like your mind just went to deficient. I don't know. So I'm deficient. Maybe, maybe, maybe like I don't know, dollars or something. <laughs> this, is, this is going to be a very, very long beef. Maybe God, like, I bet. <laughs> maybe like dollars you know, or something. Speaking about this star size thing, my yeah. theory about it is God, God, why am I speaking like a Yoruba song from? Oh, God, it's love. God, God empowered us with certain things coming into the world, yeah. right? certain secrets, certain keys to further understand and better equip ourselves or to better do certain things. Yeah. I think one of them is jazz. Genuinely. Mm. Yeah. There's a science to jazz. Yeah. Like some people just have the key to do, to know what's going to happen. If you mix this with this, and, and like say herbs. what this yeah. at this particular time, X thing is going to happen. It's a science. There's a science to it. Hmm. You understand? And the same thing with, I'm not sure there's a science to star science, but... When you look at it critically, some of these things are not et- entirely falsehoods. Yeah. Mm. They are not they are not entirely true, but they are not entire falsehoods either. I feel God gave us certain things to pick inspiration from, to understand life better, to be able to live better lives and have answers beyond everything that we normally know. I think I feel that, like that's what, I think that's that what one jazz, of those things is. Jazz, as we yeah. know it, is like the lowest form. Of science. Of, of science. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I agree. And science agree. and tech. Yeah. It's like the highest magic. Of do you understand? Because how can I be here? Yeah. I'm calling somebody and telling me that it is. I was actually that speaking about it. that yesterday that like I can video call somebody that is thousands of miles away. It's yeah. A, it's like crazy. in real time. Yeah. In real time, they'll tell me because of frequency. What frequency? <laughs> like <laughs> which frequency? Like where? Frequency that we can't even see. Exactly. Yeah. It's one of those things that it's just like jazz. Like if I say this thing to this particular person, the person can go crazy. Yeah. Mm. Do you and, understand? And, it's, it's like that. And there's something I heard somebody say that made a lot of sense to me that um, God is more interested in society progressing than I church agree. growing. Yeah. So, and this was Pastor Poju, Your Your new fave. And he said your something. New he, said, he said that one of the things that the Nigerian church got wrong was when people, when, when the when like all these big churches were blowing up and people the people that were quote unquote spiritual in church were coming out the church made all those people pastors quickly and mm. put them but instead of putting those people outside in the marketplace so it's like now with that in mind imagine if like your political people were actually spiritual people Be, your mm. doctors were spiritual Don't people keep them in. do you understand society will be much better transformed than mm. So wait, do you go to church? No, I've not been to church in a long time. I'm not What's a long, long time? <laughs> I'm like three, four years old. <laughs> what church were you attending before? Okay, I used to attend um, Saints Community. Yeah, Saints Community. Saints Community. Yeah, it was like very, very lucky church. Church. Lucky church. Yeah, hmm. that was when I was in uni. Then before then, the church that my mom used to force me to go to was Trem. That's a Trem. Yeah. Which one? See, the big one. Trem Akoka. Oh ah, yeah, Kukau, yeah. My friend, my, my, my. See, my yeah. So that like my actually childhood like was really yeah. my kind of now. Yeah. 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 Something like about the music. This, Something you know, about parents. They, they like when they're attending well. church, it feels like they just want you to attend their church. You have to attend the church now. You don't get church now. So like mom, see and pop says they are going to they are going to church. You not saying I'm doing what. <laughs> Aside from that, <laughs> church is culture. Church is yeah. like a community institution. In yeah, society. it's like a community. Yeah. So there's tradition and all that. But my mom's church is a church that I know that I need energy. To be able Mountain to of fire. 
No. So, so it's like... They chop like two ever. You understand? <laughs> From morning. I'm go- I, I'm going to mountain of fire. Like, mommy, can I... Can I just like... <laughs> Buffer. Wait a minute, you actually eat Eba in the morning. I'm remembering. I do, I eat Eba for breakfast. I, Bro, I'm like, remembering. the all the people that do that are women that I know. Have you ever had Eba for breakfast? Yeah, yeah. Ah, it's normal. What do you have for breakfast? No, it's not, I, it's not it's normal. Not. <laughs> but, but, but I've had Eba for yeah, breakfast. Yes, yeah. It's not, not normal. normal. It's not what something that I won't wake up in the morning yeah, and say, yeah, yeah. ah, no. what do I want to eat? I want to eat Eba this morning. So when you have breakfast, what do you think about? What's your idea of breakfast? Breakfast. When they break your heart. <laughs> okay, to be honest, me, I don't like I sometimes I forget to eat. Oh yeah. yeah I, forget to eat. I, I forget to eat. So by the time I remember that, ah, I'm not today, it's probably like one or two PM. Yeah. So. Then you cannot have like regular. When do you have blessed with great most metabolism? Because I can't be eating it by every morning. I eat about mm. morning and night. Wow. I, I, I just like today I've eaten a Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. The source of our problems. <laughs> you are very silly. The root cause. How can ever be the source Tell of your therapy is this. I <laughs> have not shared this information with your Speaking therapist. about like family, uh, like church being a community, after my dad died, right? Yeah. And my mom retired, she has been deferring a lot more to church because that community has is availing her an opportunity to battle the loneliness that mm. comes with mm. Yeah. yeah. That's I've noticed that a lot. Yeah. Also, the, like but, the Nigerian creative industry owes a lot to the church. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, no. it's a breeding, it's a yeah, a lot of producers. No, I wasn't, but my but my elder brother used to play, so I just used to hang around them. So, uh, Can I, you play any I, I, I kind of found it boring. Oh, in all honesty, yeah. You found what? Which one? Like choir, choir like because yeah. so many. At Trem? Like it's good to watch, but like what so like joining joining in, I was just like, ah, oh, sing on this key. It has to be like this. Mm. You have to sing it like that. Like. You have costume. I mean, I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't do too well with like all these like defined, structured. defined, structured rules. It's just like I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't really like it. So me, I was just like, okay, let me just be observing. So I used to just go with him because I didn't have anywhere to go. So I just follow him, follow yeah. him, and I just used to observe and listen to them do their thing. He, yeah. play, he plays an instrument. Or he yeah, he, play, he plays the keyboard. Yeah. And, so does and he play the keyboard for you now? Yes, it does. It's actually part of my live band. Okay. It's like oh, wow. it's the head of the live band. Yeah. So um I've started learning how to play guitar again. This is my fourth, fifth <laughs> time trying. But I'm getting Shit somewhere. Hard, I'm getting somewhere. I've been using YouTube. I can play some keys now. I feel like you're not yeah. a complete lover boy musician. You can't play the guitar. Without Until guitar, without the guitar, guitar right? Yeah. Yeah, but but my brother got me a guitar it's in my studio, so every day I'm always like fiddling and playing with it when I have time. Yeah. I feel like one thing that parents need to do for for children, like I'm not forcing our parents here because yeah. there was there's no manual for good parenting. I yeah. feel like that's one thing Twitter misses out on a lot. When people are criticizing parents actively, who will see the kind of parents you are and yeah, look exactly. at how it's actually it's actually not easy to be a parent. Like, it's not easy, yeah. Like having to be responsible for, for another, another human being. being. Exactly. Or why are still human beings? Why are you still fighting your battles? Do you know the funny thing is that sometimes I wake up and like I go through my day. Like maybe I yeah. go to work or I just, I just go through my day and at the end of the day. I'm imagining myself being responsible for another person. Like I've been the the moment like I'm done with my day and I enter the house, I mm. know that I am not in the mood to receive another person. Like I'm not in the mood to talk to another soul. So I'm not like imagine if you had a child, like and you and you and you come back home after like, a long day at work. Yeah, how am I going to how am I going to have that conversation with that person? How do I trust myself enough to know that I'm going to deal with that child the right yeah. way? So I feel like parenting and just being responsible for another person is way harder. Than we Me, I don't feel like before becoming a parent, I feel like there has to be some level of emotion, emotional maturity. And mental, before yeah. Before you decide, that, before okay, you try it. I want to have a mini me. Yeah. Nah, mini me. You want to have <laughs> children? Yes, I want to have children. I'm a family but, guy. Everything I I I really love the idea of family. It's beautiful. It's one of those things that stand that stand the test of time. I, I, like almost everything is temporary. So would you do a yeah. big wedding or a small wedding? Small wedding, like bro. But you invite me now. Uh, maybe. Ah. Maybe. maybe. Joe may- boy, maybe. you know when you and I have been coming together. Maybe, maybe. Okay, no problem. But, but I know you won't cast me because if I if I ever I decide won't. to get married, I'm I not going to announce. Oh, Joe boy is married. No, no. no. Yeah. Like, it's not your business. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Fair enough. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something about family. About family. About yeah. about like fam- having children. children. People, yeah, people people criticize family and parenting a lot, but I feel like making your children do some things early. It's going to be. It's going to change our lives. Like learning instruments, for example. Play yeah. football. Like right now. Yeah, actually. Project Mbappe. Are you joking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right yeah. Like if he, there are some children, but that, there's a boy that I know on social media. That boy no get talent. I should excel this thing before. That boy no get talent. <laughs> Papa the first time. The guy friends. Papa the first time. That boy no. He no. He no me. Do what? 
friends, they hope. He can end up being a head coach. Or he go, if he go try, if he do, try, play football. They play football. Like, play football. He, I didn't see the boy. Like, the person where they take the boy um, compare as Thiago, Thiago Piquen. Almost the same age. Like, you go see the technique when Thiago Piquen take kickball. You go not say these boys are big play. <laughs> but that one. <laughs> The father said, "Don't worry, keep going, my child." And I was like, "You say, yeah. Yeah. and I feel like, and I feel like parents they like to like force their idea of being successful yeah. on, on yes. their kids yeah. and stuff." And way of living. Yeah, and I, I can't, I can't really fault them. They just want the best for Actually, for their child. They're, they're scared. Like, yeah, and they don't want the child yeah. to go where yeah. he's not supposed That's to good. be. Yeah. What do, What do you do before? you how do you decide it is time for you to drop a song how do you decide it is time for you to drop music yeah how much experience do you go out to have in life before you decide to write music or do you because i know that there was a post that i saw i always reference this right mm. um echeran is one artist that i think is balanced yes. I, 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 such a balanced, balanced human artists, being from what yeah. i see on social media i know one time he, he took a break on social media and he said he posted a caption and he said he's taking a break off music for mm. now because he wants to go live life yeah. he wants to go have experiences so when yeah. he comes back mm. he would have more to put in his music yeah that's really important Do you understand? and yeah. he, he says that and i know that so i need to know like for you as an afrobeat artist mm. how how much balance do you do you do with living yeah. life because following the conversation about brunner boy saying artists don't have substance mm. and all of that how much experience do you try to garner as an artist so uh do you think it's important to have substance I feel everybody has substance. It's just be, it's just based on what people relate to. People relate to. I feel like sometimes when you make a song that is very very high tempo and dancing, people just feel like you are just vibing. Or if you don't sing in English, or I used to see some comment because somebody singing in plain English, like ah, pen game, what pen game? <laughs> like <laughs> because it's sang in English, like because it's sang. Yeah, I'm serious. Like he annoys me so much. Like if you want to see, oh yeah, let me give you one act. Let me give you one act. Every act is out there. If you want people to feel like you're an amazing songwriter, just write in English, plain English. I promise you, they'll be like, oh, this guy's the best songwriter ever. And you sing in pitch, they'll be like, ah, this one they do lamba. It's not lamba. It's actually still connecting. Like I understand that you can't connect to every form of music you come across, but I promise you, anybody that has the ability or mind to create something out of thin air is substance. Yeah. Hmm. Should we get into it? Whether you like it or not, though, if you don't like um, yeah, you don't have to like it. Hmm. But it's not easy to create to create something like from your mind and people are dancing like uh, uh-uh. that's like a power. So, so I need substance, substance for that. What makes it substance? What makes it substance? So people if people can something. connect, people feel something. People can connect. Everything from your head that you create is it substance? The fact that you're but doing that, yes, yeah, I read the camera. But sometimes some substance. So substance is now you go if you understand what exactly. you talk is about. Yeah. From your head originally substance. See, <laughs> the fact that you can create it and put it out there is substance. There's some music that is absolutely whack. I'm not going to lie. That one is valid. Exactly. But the fact that you can create something that a group of people can connect to, uh, that's in our substance. Joe Boy doesn't yeah. have anything to do with what I'm about to say. Yeah. Motolani, if you see Motolani's voice, he's inspired or shaking his head like, these people are lucky, I'm not impulsive. Okay? I'm not right <laughs> yeah, you people are actually lucky. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I know. Uh, I, nah, I'm, not, I'm no longer in that headspace. Uh, Some things that I've said in the last few days, they have been dumbed down opinions of what I actually wanted to say. Because... Like that. Joe Boy, I, being, Joe Boy being on this podcast is going to make me even dumb down a little more because <laughs> of the type of things that I would like to say. Thank God. Hmm. Stevie Nitz says something anytime he's about Shout to criticize. Anytime yeah. he's about to criticize certain basketball players that say certain things. He says, I'm not calling you an idiot, but what you said is idiotic. What he said was idiotic. What I said? No, not you. Ah, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> not you. What, what homeboy said was idiotic. I didn't even take it to P. Do you know why? Because like, I feel like Bonner has a rollout strategy. Oh, absolutely. I agree. Albums. I agree. Something happens. I agree. Either rumor, he shot somebody in the club. Yeah. There's something that happens. That happens. Yeah. So first he visits Nigeria. Yeah. And then something happens. First he visits Nigeria, then he passes, then something happens. If nothing happens, then it happens somewhere else. Yeah. So, you know, this happened. I saw I saw the conversations about um, substance and whatnot. And I think some people, there were people who on that, who kind of like aligned with what he said that there are some people that feel like okay some some sometimes some songs here don't mean anything and i i feel like we have a even i have been guilty of saying this in the past and i i have repented from that conversation because i think like it's like a it's imperialist approach <sighs> to 
re- reviewing African music. It's an imperialist approach. It's also a borrowed standard. Yeah, it is. For it's example, one of, one of the biggest songs in the world, a classic, a pop classic. Tell me why it ain't not. The song means nothing. Yeah. If you go and read the song, you are my this, you are my the verses are you are my fire. You are my love song. You are my fire. Listen no. now. The verses are you are my fire. You are the my desire. The person that wrote yeah. that wrote the song said this. You are my fire. You are my desire. You are my this. You are my this. My mm-hmm. that. From this to tell me why ain't nothing but a heartbreak. Like it makes no sense. There is a literally a documentary on Netflix called This Is Pop, and there's an episode where Backstreet Boys talk about this, and they were like, in the studio. Shout out to Dennis. Dennis Pop is dead now. Dennis Pop was one of the, like great producers and. Um, writers of modern day pop as we know it, right? Mm. And then Pop told them, like, listen, it's about melody. Pop music is about melody. Let's just give them great melody. Yeah. It doesn't have to make sense. Melody and and the soul in the melody. You want to finish? See, yeah. guys, the, this wow. conversation has so many layers. <laughs> so many. Now, the first layer is I agree. You can build a boss for your project. Yeah. I don't have a problem, mm-hmm. yeah. right? But why mortgage an entire movement for your selfish purpose? One. Two. I feel like it comes from somewhere. It's not the first time Homeboy has done it. It comes from somewhere. I feel like there's an there's a latent insecurity somewhere that he needs to deal with. I feel like there's a part of this guy Joe Boy that, that no, not him. Not him. I'm just hmm. like Joe there's Boy. a part of there's a part of this guy that can't deal with the fact that some people are prospering and that they're prospering with what he considers to be inferior arts. You understand? That's my theory. I'm not saying it's a fact. Yeah. There's a part of him that feels like people are prospering due to inferior arts. And you have to be... And, and, and I don't think any amount of success would take away that feeling if you don't... If you can't deal with it by yourself. You understand? Wait. I, I think he needs to... Like, people revere you as somebody who is one of the best ever. Like, nobody ever anywhere would open their mouths and say... This guy is whack. People are going to say, this guy, in terms of talent, in terms of delivery, in terms of what he's able to do, as he's able to leverage it, he's one of the best we have ever seen. Like, everybody says that. Now, you have be- you have now become an ambassador. You went to a platform like Zen Louis. Let's say, Zen Louis has interviewed some of the biggest artists ever. There's a reputation that comes with going to Zen Louis for an interview. Look at there, it says he was interviewed by an Australian radio station. Yeah, shout out to Australian there, radio station. Australia, Australia is in the back of the world. And day when we ca- when, when we shout Happy New Year, now like twelve hours later, yeah. they lose Happy New Year. Do you understand? With the like, antelope, it's gone that far. What the hell? Say now that the this genre, we are just scratching the surface. Like this is the worst part for me. We are scratching the surface of what it could be. We are not even a primary genre yet in America. Do you understand? <laughs> no, we are not. Grammy. No, no, we are, you, like we are not even a primary genre yet. But we are fighting. We are trying to create this separatism that or exceptionalism that you are better than everybody else. It's such a problematic viewpoint. It's so problematic that that statement could single-handedly, single-handedly Austrian, trigger. Australian. Austrian. Austria, okay. It could single-handedly, it could single-handedly create like people that are, have already been cynical about what it could be. Let's say powerful people now bandy up and start getting finicky about what, ge- what the genre does. Because you are such a powerful voice. Do you understand? You are a powerful voice. Yeah. That people are going to listen to whatever you have to say. Now, it's, it's not coming from you. A Grammy winner, someone that does a stadium tour, someone that has done all these things. You are trying to mortgage a genre for your own personal issues. Like, I can't get above it, to be honest. You know the Like, truth. wait. It's... it's I'm... This thing pains me, bro. I feel like I'm also personally responsible. Yeah. To be personally. Because yeah. you're a stakeholder. I feel like I'm personally responsible for being part of the people that have said, this guy is great. And I feel like he's got into his head. I feel, I think that's one of, I think that's why it's so personal for me. Like, I, I, every chance I've gotten, I have said it that this guy is special. He's one of the greatest. And I feel like it's not gotten to him. Like, he's not using that avenue to pour acid on other people. It's so problematic. Now, you are saying you don't know what people call it Afrobeats or whatever. Let's let's talk about substance. What is substance? So Tolani, let me now let me respond to what you are saying. You're, you're done talking, right? Please I'm not Tolani. done. Okay, I'm, are, I'm pausing. So, so we are First half. So I'm going to enter this conversation and throughout my entry, please don't interrupt me. Don't interrupt you. Now back to what what um what Brennan said about this entire conversation, mm-hmm. right? I feel like there are different layers to it, right? And I'm asking this. I'm making statements and I'm also asking questions. Okay. First off. One thing that we spoke about when it comes to this body of work that he dropped is that 
it is heavily inspired by hip hop. Yeah. When he had a conversation, the interview, he had it in New York. And they were right, yeah. and they were making conversations about you know hip hop. They were mentioning Wu Tang, they were mentioning like hip hop artists, and I feel like that conversation was hip hop in comparison to Afro beats. Like they were talking about Afro beats and referencing hip hop. Now in the conversation of I as a person, I feel like you can say something very important, you can make sense whatever it is you're saying, but when you there's a way you would deliver it that the entire the entire thing your knowledge you're trying to pass might be lost in how in your delivery. In Nigeria, we're talking about Afrobeats time and time again. We're talking about how <laughs> even last week on the show, we, we, we reference we referenced Afrobeat as a genre. And we've said that Afrobeat is about melodies. We've, we've spoken about how a lot of times when, when Afrobeat artists sing some certain songs, they are not saying anything. It just feels like they are singing this song to have a good time. It just feels like they're just saying these things just to enjoy or just to party. And also, human beings are multifaceted. Like we are different layers. If somebody is expecting that, if I'm listening to an artist, I'm listening to somebody's art or something, I as a person would expect that you would come in with layers. You would come in with your happy side. You would come in with your sad side. You would come in with your experiences. You've come in with things that you have, you have, you know, gone through. If yeah. as an artist you now drop an album and I feel like everything they are saying from beginning to end is just happy, 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 can, happy, can happy, I, can I say party something? vibes. No, no, you can't. Happy, happy, happy party vibes. It feels like you are you are giving us a dishonest representation of what you are. Now, Afrobeat generally, whether or not it comes from him or anybody else, is not the most um, sitting down to write and give us layers of you know People thinking. sit down to write. That's, that's well, actually not. That's not true. Maybe not sitting down. That to is write. not. Maybe Ajubo, not. Ajubo, Ajubo will speak to that. To wait, that. Now. Wait, now. wait now. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not sitting down to write. That's not what I'm I trying to say. I write in Buku. Yeah, wait. Maybe not sitting down <laughs> to write. But it's not. Yeah. It's not the heaviest on lyrics. It's not the heaviest on. So why did he educate? Wait, wait, not wait, 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 wait. Oh, why did he not the heaviest on lyrics? No, no, like Afro okay. beats as a whole. I'm, okay. I'm, Afro beats is not the, not the kind of genre of music that. <laughs> people say. Why did he not educate the Lowy on that? <laughs> but Tonani, you, I said I, I that. Like, I told you guys to let it be done. Listen, wait, no, 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 Maybe it is in the way the conversation was had. Like, like Tonani said, why didn't he say that? Maybe in the conversation, he could have said, oh, shout out to Afrobeat artists. When it comes to Afrobeat as a genre of music, we're trying to have a good time. Afrobeat as a genre of music is for us to have a good time. And maybe not party. really, no. Maybe not, maybe, maybe not. But we just sing Afrobeat from a place of we want to be do. Nigeria is hard. People are having, do you understand? And even when raise we up your mic, raise up your mic. Even when we present artists for their lyrics, it's like, this is not the Close genre of mouth. music that is for, you know, why, do you understand? Blah, 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 blah. But we say it's even in conversations individually and without within ourselves that Afrobeat artists don't come in with the most, oh, lyrics, lyrics, so when this one happened and that one happened, it's a general thing that we say. I hear what you're saying. Exactly. Melody, I hear you 110%. However, I disagree totally. And I'll tell you why I disagree. Please go on, Because yeah. there's precedent yeah. of Bonner Boy being condescending to other artists, other yeah. artists in Nigeria. Like the president, you. the president exists. I hear you. And to what you are saying, every genre of music in the world does it. Every I hear genre, you. every genre of music in the world has those. But songs. what's Gangnam Style about? Well, exactly. Every genre, be it country, be it hip, is it hip hop, substance. Trap is, is the reason. Is it trap is the reason yeah, why. Modern day hip hop. Trap music is the reason why. You hate. You hate hip hop. You hate trap now. music. You hate trap Isn't music. That we, listen, listen, listen. Listen. Saying listen. Trap listen. watered down hip hop. Joe boy, sorry, sorry for sorry, sorry. that we're making this segue. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. But Joe I feel like it's, it's a very important conversation sorry, to have, boy. and I don't mean I don't want to also put Rock you in a you. very tough. Yes, tough, yes, yeah. yes. You yes. have nothing to do with this. But it's I also want him to speak to that right thing. So people will not drag him. No, 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 no. But Joe boy has to speak to that right thing because it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a common misconception that Afrobeat artists. We've heard it from the fans. We've seen it. Twitter that they don't take time out to write. It's like they just yeah. get that vibe. Maybe not yeah. write, but it's not the yeah, most substance few. But sometimes, what you like the fact that I speak, the fact that I write in oh, PG, this boy, the, oh, it seems to pay me because I see the lot on Twitter. Somebody says, "Oh, this person has pen game because he's writing in so much English." And there was somebody that's singing them. Um, somebody that is like singing in PG doesn't yeah. have lyrics. No, it's connecting in its best way possible. Hmm. So you cannot say, "Oh, because he's writing." I think that thing is even a very true statement. So because I write for it's English, low it's realistic. Realistic. exactly. It's low self esteem. People will exactly. tell you that Shaiva has to say rubbish. He's not. It's low self esteem. Now, let me give you an example. Better than sorry, 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 sorry. 
Tolani. It's actually low self esteem for you as a fan to be hearing someone sing their native language and you are saying they don't. They're not yeah, people oh, are not fucking smart enough. That's low self. You don't listen, like your own listen, self enough. Like, people that's are self-esteem. not fucking smart or aware enough for the conversations that they ha- they try to have. Especially on Twitter. And on Especially Twitter, on, on Twitter, Twitter, everybody's just trying to be right. Nobody's actually trying to just listen yeah, and, and work with fans. Bruno is trying to be right. Of that. Do you understand? Wait, it's just it also happened last year when Wiz also went and said that hip hop fell off or something like that. Rap is dead. See, we Excel called this an imperialist approach to understanding music. I think that's what it is. Substance is forever going to evolve. What determines what obtains in music at any time? It's not what you like. One of the best rappers in the world right now is a female artist called No Name. If you listen to No Name, you know. Male or female, she's one of the best rappers I've ever listened to. Baffle, Personally, baffle, love the top guys. do you understand? Personally, I think she's the best lyricist in the world that I've heard in the last five years. The problematic one, right? Yeah, the problematic <laughs> one. But I, I will always listen to her music because it is special music. Do you understand? Now, but is no name popping? No. No. Like there's a girl that went that I posted on my stories two weeks ago that the girl right, right that the FMC game has fell off because everybody always wants to talk about pussy. But it's nobody's fault. That's, that's what, what sells. people want to hear. That's what sells. Now, are you going to now say that that is not substance? No, it's it's tiring. I can't stand it. But it's describing a particular type type of life that people can really that is real life to a to. lot of people. Yes, that's that, that's their experience. That's what a lot of people want to hear. That, that they want to hear because that's the life they, they ask. People aspire to such a life as well. I'm fucking a nigga. He's paying my bills. He's paying my mother's bills. It's like that's people want to hear it. If you think it's not real, why is he selling? Do you understand? Exactly. Now, when it comes to genres, certain genres have set identifiers. It's genres are more than genres. They are cultural movements. Afrobeats as a whole, it is not conscious. Like, let's get that into our thick skulls. Uh, but that's what I said. Afro beats <laughs> is not conscious. <laughs> Afro beats does not have to be conscious for it to be validated. Like, that stupid narrative needs to die now. Afro beat with the S. I don't, I don't give a shit what it is. Afro beats. With the S. I don't give a shit. Afro beats. Yeah, Afro beats I don't conscious. care. Afro beats. <laughs> It doesn't need to be conscious oh for it to be validated. It, doesn't. it does not. It doesn't. Yes. Like this narrative. Tell at least your voice that means nothing to fall. This narrative that, that Afrobeats must be conscious for it to make sense to people. It needs to die now. Because you people are killing and invalidating what a lot of people are doing. Are you trying to tell fans what to listen to? It's not like you are not you are not trying you want to tell them that the only thing that they should be listening to is conscious music. Like and this thing that we're talking about substance. Are you going to say Charlie Poppy doesn't have substance? Do you understand? Just because he's not sounding pretty enough, he's not well arranged. Are you going to say it's not substance? The man that is went real to life. Prison, came out and made a song called Ex Convict. Do you understand? He doesn't get more substantial than that. Guy! But this hip hop that we're talking about. Real life. The thing that you people are calling real life is because it is, it is struggle music. It comes from things that are not pretty. Yeah. Just. Music doesn't have to be great. If music does, if music, music music doesn't have to be come from somewhere on pretty for it to be great. Somewhere and, pretty, you mean pretty? Yeah. Some, somewhere and somewhere and my pretty. problem with this guy is just because after every time I've, I've stopped watching that video because it's, it pisses me off so bad. You are not eloquent enough for the type of conversations you are trying to have. It is very obvious because you should. Act, this conversation is nuanced. Very, yeah, it's very, very nuanced. Very, 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 the most important thing about this conversation, like, let's even forget, let's imagine for a second that Bonaboy is right. Let's imagine, I want yeah. you to, everybody yeah. at home, but everybody listening, <clears throat> imagine for a second that Bonaboy is actually right and Afrobeat has no substance. So, what? Why are you saying it? Like, why but, are you saying? I need people to understand that what we are doing is an agenda. Or, do you understand? Afrobeat is an agenda, and I think that I think that everybody who is playing a role in the Nigerian space. music space, in the African music space, needs to be very conscious of the fact that we are pushing our agenda at this point. And in it's time. not solidified. There was a time I keep telling everybody there was a time reggae yeah. music and dancehall music was the shit. This is 2023. There's no DSP presence in the Caribbean islands. Facts. The major record labels don't have offices there anymore. Hmm. You think it can't happen to us? It can. So we should treat it as an agenda. We should be very conscious the of greats, what we project I out there. I said something. The greats don't shut the door behind them. They don't. You open they, more you doors open for that people. You open the doors. 
you know, and that's do you why... know how crazy it is. Sorry, do you know how crazy it is? And I feel like um everybody inter- interested in working in like the music space, especially the business guys, should learn about Nigerian music history. Do you understand? Because we learn a lot. Bob Marley died. Bob Marley. I, I don't know where died. you're going. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's one of the greatest facts about Nigerian yeah. music. Yeah. And his record label, Island Records, yeah. said this is a huge vacuum that has just been created. Who, do we need to get who, who in the world can fill this space? And they chose and they picked King Sonny Ade. I think he's, he's the one that turned them yeah. down. They picked him. That's how big Nigerian music was popping. You are like we are doing some things that are cre- great, yes, but there are people that have been opening doors way before we got here. And I think it's a huge disservice to the people coming after. That you want to now close the door. That you say door. something like Afrobeats like on such a big stage and like you, that. You didn't just say it. You invalidated the entire genre. What, like, it's the entire movement. You shut it's on a, it. It's, it's, quite, it's, a, it's despicable. It's quite, it's quite a shame. And, and, I, and I really hope that everybody, when you go out there, you're doing your interviews, BBC, wherever. If people please, need to speak on this shit. This thing, speak on it. it. And, and, and generally, and correct the narrative. Even, it behooves everybody. Even away from correcting the narrative, which is very important. I think that a lot of times, artists put in so much effort into quenching fire. Why is, it that, why is one? it that artists just go about without media training? Why are you just going for interviews you when- and not... Sorry, to learn MXL. <laughs> You're going on interviews and you're saying certain things. And I feel like this thing has been reoccurring time and time again. Someone was talking about how um, another artist was talking about Shallow Poppy. Abi, Shali, Shali Poppy. Uh, uh, Spyro. Like, how do you, Spyro. how are you an artist? And Spyro, I also, you need media training. Shout out to everybody. Oh God, Joe Boy is here. Joe Boy Spyro, you need media training. Shout out to us, Joe don't Boy. Do that. You guys don't draft Joe Boy, yo. Joe Boy has nothing Spyro, I love you. And I love the fact that you're a Christian, wait, but you wait, don't have three ex- hits. Ex- you have one. Ex- and the Nigerian rule is three hits. It's Trifecta. Yeah, you, ha- you need to have three hits before you go mad. How do you how do you, <laughs> you get on? One. How do you have a song that features African bad girl and you now go on weeks after or years after to be shitting on people and saying, I'm talking about the kind of things that people are saying in their music and all of that. It's okay for you to Very be a spiritual person. And it's okay for you to be a spiritual person. That's not but, spiritual. That's just Or whatever, That's religious or whatever it is that you are. But if you wanted to do that, why didn't you feature Messi Chinwo? Why didn't you feature Ada? Why are you in this space and trying to act like the most self-righteous person? Artists generally need to get media training and just do this thing right. Like, stop think, going about shitting I on things. It's just people weird. People are not aware enough, smart enough, Do you remember when enough. Bonaboy used to cause problems and our guy used to always... That time that everybody knew that Bonaboy was working with uh, Buki HQ. Do you remember yeah. that joke? Um, uh, um, our guy used to, brief Anytime Bonaboy calls up, one guy would say, Buki HQ don't get another brief. <laughs> but, but Joe Boy, let's, let's, let's leave Joe out of the trouble, please. Joe he Boy. was never involved in the. He trouble. was never involved. It's, when you, it's you that caused popular... problem where you said, eh, "I feel bit lyrics, lyrics, this thing." <laughs> no, 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 right no, no, yeah. no, 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 but no, 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 Afrobeats artists, we actually write, right? I think. I think. Okay. 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 Me, I write. Me, I write. I sit down. I write. I can sit down for hours and write. Like it depends on the kind of topic I'm trying to speak about or sing about. So, and I feel like sometimes the lyrics go over people's heads because of how infectious and danceable the beat is. Alcohol sip is a it's sad a song. It's a, it's a very, it's it a very, is a sad, it's very it is a sad song. song. Yeah. Afro depression. I didn't even think people were going to be dancing to it. When I wanted to put out a song, even some people in Libya told me, ah, this is not like a, a single material. Oh, like, are you for real? Yes, no. Like, they told me, like, are you sure you want to do this? I was like, yes, I want to do it. Like, that's why I feel like music sometimes it's not about the tempo, it's not about the, it's about, it's, but Joe, but it's to be about fair, the song connecting. To be fair to, yeah. to, be fair to even like the audience yeah. on them, Responding that great, so I call it wasn't just about the melodies. Yeah. It's talking about something word. real, bro. Yeah, yeah. Are going connected, to and 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 they have to cope, and they use that's alcohol, how they I use drugs. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's, a real, it's yeah. a real thing. Yeah, it's a real thing. Like that's Nigerian spirit. Okay, but it's a real like thing. see, guys, I, I I hear how we all feel about this conversation, yeah. but I also feel like. I get how Tonani feels emotional about it. I get how Melody, it is bad. I, I hear you. Melody, I hear it reflects you. so badly on the work that people have been doing. And do- I agree. Do you know the amount of jobs that Afrobeats has created in this industry? And I agree with you 100%. But I'm asking again. Okay. What I'm asking again is, do we have these conversations generally about the about the quality of the music that we have away from him? And also, Tonani, do you think as an artist, the honest is not on you? to shed light to important issues because we, you are doing that We have a responsibility to always, here at home, push our artists to be better. 
We have yeah. that responsibility. No, I'm saying that as an artist, it's not your responsibility. No, listen to my question, please. I'm saying as an artist, it's not your responsibility to talk about the times. Like, take for example, like things are happening in Nigeria. We're, we're going through answers. We have like, you know, political issues and blah, blah, blah. And as an artist who is like an A-list artist that people listen to you, you have okay. a sort of followers. Shouldn't you use your music to shed light on those issues? But sometimes people just want to dance. You know the funny thing is, Melody, there's something there's something we spoke about at the beginning of this episode, right? There's something we spoke about at the beginning of this episode, which is that how like your brand or persona you put out there yeah. should still be close to who you are. Yes. I think yeah. that that's one of Bonaboy's Bonaboy's biggest problems. problems. I agree. So how? the brand that Bonaboy put out there was the Pan Africa Pan African activism, socially aware, activism, I'm socially, socially aware, African giants shit. fighting for the people. Yeah. And shout out to him, shout out to the team that came up with that because it worked. It's what white people love. He got him the Grammy. But in real life, he's just a guy that wants to just live do his you life understand? and do his thing. Do you guys so, genuinely so, think he doesn't believe in those things? That he not really. See, no. I, I don't think. think so. See, every 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 body. So. Wait, wait, hold on. Everybody, every African wants the best for Africa. Yeah. But it's not all of us that want to be Mandela. Yeah. <laughs> he puts himself out like he, he was from Mandela. As a lyrical Mandela, as a, I'm fighting for okay, the guys, people. Okay, guys, another question. If you're talking about Afrobeat as a genre of music in comparison to hip hop, this conversation cannot be had. Melody. In comparison to what? Hip hop. Modern day hip hop. Can I, can I even say Let's not say modern day hip hop. And guess what? Even what we say, what we complain about hip hop, right? We are, we are saying like trap music uh, has what, watered down, yes. whatever. But it's still moving. Why? If Melody, if people can feel something, if not connecting, the job is done. Do you understand? If you have brought that music and people connect to it, you have done your fucking Melody, job. Let me tell you something. Let Finish. me tell, let me tell you something about Afrobeats that 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 makes that rubbishes this entire narrative. Afrobeats is traveling, right? Yes. A chunk of Joe boy. What's the percentage of our revenue of your revenue that comes from outside outside Africa? Hmm, a lot. A lot. A is lot. it up to seventy percent? Let's put a number 70%. on it. Seventy percent. I don't think it's up to seventy percent. But okay. is it more than what comes out of Nigeria? Your revenue more than on streaming. Yeah. Yes. On streaming. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Now, one of the biggest albums of last year is Bad Bunny's album. Bad, Bad Bunny. Bunny. Yeah. Bad Bunny. Yeah. Yeah. Unless it, I think it was even the number one album. It last was. Year. It was number one. I think one. Bad Boy has been the number one most streamed artist in the world on Spotify for three years running. Yeah. He right? he knocked off Drake and Melody. Let's say so. I can speak elementary Spanish I, or I understand elementary Spanish, right? Mm-hmm. But in America, where the album was, was I think, the bigger, bigger, biggest album of last year, only 15% of America speaks Spanish. Yeah. Now, let's put that in numbers. Let's say that's 40 million people. Not all those 40 million are streaming Bad Bunny's album. Where the album is coming from, where the success is coming from, is from a lot of people that don't even speak or understand Spanish. What's going on? <laughs> that don't even speak or understand Spanish. Now, here's the point I'm trying to make. A lot of the most successful songs, Afrobeat songs that are going to be successful, people are not going to have any idea what they are saying. What they are talking about? Is this language yeah. barrier now or substance? It's like that substance that you are saying, it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> One of the biggest Nigerian songs to blow, Do you up, understand? to blow up in Europe in the 70s was William Oyabos. When they go in smooth and good, many, many people will be your friends. One of the biggest... Aya, Af- aya, aya, aya. That was literally it. That was One it. of the biggest Afro- African songs of all time. Is Premier Gao. Premier Gao. They don't Premier know what Gao. it means. Who yeah. knows what it Why means? People don't know what it means. Yeah. But it's provocative. <laughs> the vibe. But... People that sing to calm down, I'm not sure they even have an idea what am I saying. I'm not sure they care. Or love, or or love wanting to. Or love wanting to. Is the ah, 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 ah. That's the magic of the song. That's the magic of the song. Ah, 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 ah. That's where the that's, people that's sing. People that's what, like, the people don't care. The music has to be provocative enough and has to connect with people. Yeah. That's what people need. Guys. So what are we saying? If you make music melody and people feel something, that you have so won. Weird. Yeah, that's you like have won. if the music is connecting, that's you because it's music is connecting. What you're talking about. No matter you what won. you're talking melody. about. If, <sighs> Regardless of what won. you're talking about. If what he was saying wasn't realistic or relatable, it won't blow. It won't connect. But that no. defeats the purpose of saying that people don't understand what you're saying, but they'll just dance to it when it has good music. It doesn't defeat the purpose. It connects. It's the exact same thing. So the connection is not in what you're saying, but listen, it's just in the listen, feeling. Listen, pop music is one about enjoyability. Okay. It's about production. Mm-hmm. It's about a great hook, mm. and it's about something that people can actually repeat. Yeah. That's what it's about. Something in Nigeria, that sticks. Yeah. we call it in, we call it lamba. Yeah. Retention, like something that retains people. Terms. Arasong Babi, Idea Koja, 
what that's what people sing on the streets. Yeah. Because that's what that's niggas want to say. Yes. Yeah. I don't know what he's saying, but I like but this. But you know the funny thing, thing. Uh, what we should remember is that this Lamba thing we talk about, we criticize. Yeah. Do I'm if easy. You think you, you can, understand? You, you can come up with Lamba. Like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Do I'm if easy. <laughs> that's why I mean, like, I, I sometimes I feel like there's no point for artists to really just be arguing on the internet every time. Ah, this person said enough. I mean, now start arguing like, bro. Do your thing, like people that will love, people that will love your 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 they stuff. Love, your love you. people that won't might not, and that's fine. Like it's last thing. My favorite honest. Nigerian Lamba musician of all time. It's techno. techno. Oh, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, I was 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 I I was 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 I I'm this like, one's bro, skeleton. Bro, bro. Yeah. It, but what do actually do? Bro, yeah. people don't need people don't need your um political statements. As a matter, but let's let's be real. Political so statements. Me, I need to show, with I need to political do. statements have blown up in this country time and time again. Well, so what like, are we saying? Well, so like, I need, they don't kill them, mama. Eh, eh, bro, eh, they don't kill them. Mr. President, eh. lead us well. Two fellas was giving us range rock, yeah. giving us. But guys, guys, I feel like even in, in having important, I feel like it's okay for us to say that Afrobeats is Lambda and everything, but it's also important for us to have conversations like sometimes you need some elements. Fuck that! No. Fuck that! No. We don't need you any know why, You know why we don't need those conversations? Fuck that! We don't need it! No, Melody, Let people make whatever what? they care about. Fuck that! Why we don't need those Brother conversations. has been doing substance for you for years. Have you people, how many of you have gone to the shows? So let me, what, what? No, 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 let I don't me, want to hear. Let, Fuck that! We don't need it! Let me like say siblings. what I want to say. <laughs> Let me just say what I want to say. What I'm trying to say is that we can have a conversation about the importance of Lamba and we can say Fuck that. that. We don't we don't need to you have the conversation. We can still say what's going on. You don't know what I want to well, say. Well, wait, let that land, Tolani, let that land. Ha! I, I want to say that. Don't worry, please. <laughs> don't say it. I don't give a shit. Yeah, don't don't say it. <laughs> Don't fucking say whatever it. you listen, are going to listen, say. Listen, listen, listen. Whatever what you are going to say, it exists. It exists. Yeah, that's it exists. 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 It Nigerian artists, artists do. Do you understand? You are saying it like it's deficient. It's people don't no, do. Nigerian artists no, do. No, you cannot get me. I'm not saying it's deficient. I'm saying that if someone is having a conversation about the importance of both of them, we can have that conversation. Then we, then we can talk about. There will be those a good time. Intro, vanity. Bro. New broom goes sweet better. Let was me. an APC dig. Bro. If you are not intelligent enough you to are understand why Afrobeat artists make that. political statements in their music, Excel, it's not their fault. Oh my God, that's what I'm saying. That people have these conversations. That's what I'm saying. That people are doing it. There's nothing wrong with saying that people should do it. Because people are doing it. Mel- but we can't say that you can't have the people, conversation. People, everybody. And it doesn't say, need to make political statements. And I statements. agree, and I agree, but we can also say that... Let people make whatever the fuck the they want to make. The quality of your... If we bully artists into oh making what we want... The music is going to die! I it is no longer art. Do you understand? You, but I'm saying that we cannot no say that art. as an artist, you cannot, you shouldn't ask them to talk about the important things. So who will talk about it now? They why are talking. Do, they, why do this we? This baby is not getting the point. Melody, they are already, they are already complaining doing about a problem. You are complaining about, about a problem, problem that, that doesn't does exist. Not exist. Again, I am not complaining I, about the problem. I am not saying the problem exists. I'm saying that people can have Melody, conversations. You are and now you are less. It is pointless. Melody, don't Melody is like me having a conversation. Melody. Melody is like me having and a conversation. A mechanism. It's like me having tell you that we should have a conversation about you having a boyfriend. It's pointless. Why? Shut your mouth. But why is it pointless? Because you already what? have one. Except that's pointless. Our next conversation is how do we take it for our marriage? Do you understand? The conversation should be advancing the culture. Shut up, please. Except what you're saying now is very pointless. What are you saying? I gave you a great analogy. No, you're saying rubbish. My brothers, please sit down. No worries, sit down. Ah, no worries. Sit down. Except, so, Lani, my sit point down. is, Joe Boy, I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry that me, you know, you are here, but we have to Joe Boy, don't give you my baby, my baby. Wait, don't call, don't call not, me back. Please. It's a song about my nigga, fuck off. 
What is more real life than that? My point is what that. is no what is more substantiated than that? I mean, <laughs> so so take my piece about depression. You people were dancing to it in the club. What is more substantiated than I'm smoking a bowl to take my depression away? Tolani, you're not understanding what is I'm saying. Is it all these people go to go to the go to the bush and start doing globalization? Melody, you are doing a you are playing devil's advocate for it. Is it all the people go to the bush? I gather people as I say, um, baba, um, baba. That, 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 do you understand? What does that the video say? Is, is, the video say, if is you like, like, they do that? If you, if you, say, if you like, um, <laughs> um, I don't know who came up with this mobilization because actually Kijo sung it on her own and on her turn and her Do you understand? I'm saying. You are playing devil's advocate when there is no hellfire. There is no. <laughs> what's this one saying? It's oh, a, just no. shut up, please. Just shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Like, shut up. What I'm trying to say is that we can have these conversations. You cannot. We don't that. need to have the we conversation. Can't. Okay, personally, what I feel is that not every, like, everybody can't be singing about the same thing. Like, if there's a kind of music that you actually like or you connect to, there's always somebody for you. If you want, like, the kind of like conscious, like, soul lifting music, and just listen to, like, Wizard Chan. Do you understand? Yeah. Shout Spoke, out Wizard wake Chan. up in the morning yeah. and smoking some trees, bro. Do you understand? Up, is that what you're singing every time? Yeah, he can. Ah, ah. What Sharon Kut is singing all the time. Maybe you freedom. <laughs> Maybe we will, we will ah. never be free. <laughs> you should leave Sharon Kut out of this. We will not go to. <laughs> Guys, you can actually. You can sing I about the same thing. You, I you hear can. You. How I many? Hear the you. point How is that the, the artist should be free right? enough. To make his or her choice. See, see my own is like once you start like telling artists to sing this, sing this. You have sports. You have limits. Has. Like music has to come naturally. What is it your has to come. What, what is your legacy as an artist? What is your legacy? Huh. Success. It will not go. It will not go. Shit. Blacks. It will not go. Blacks. It will not go. Blacks. It will not go. Blacks. I'm willing to get my first black. It will not go. Blacks. What are you saying? It will not go. It will not go. What's your legacy? Blacks. Let me tell you what your legacy is. Let me answer your question. Let me answer your question. No, no, no. Melody, I'll answer your question. I'll answer your question. Okay, I'll answer your question. Okay, what is the legacy I'll be inside? Wait, Melody, wait. Melody, wait first. What is the legacy? I did not ask you. What is the legacy? The fact that you can create something that will make a lot of people happy. Music, what I was going to say music that so creates memories. You, like, bro, some people, when they enter and they play, baby, they remember their, their teenage love. Your boys. Enter and they play, baby, they, be they remember when they Uma, go married. Like, Uma, memories. So, tari, tari, moments. Tari, 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 your days will be long. Your family is blessed. Like, like, your career is That's the legacy. I'm telling you, like, the fact that you can create something that people are happy. Like, people call me. People come like, ah, your son took me out of depression. Isn't that substance? Isn't that substance? Eh? Isn't that substance? Ah, in a substance, normally, now we do do no, but wait. My point is, isn't that soft? Substance is. It's fine. You but you, know, you, are, you are not. So, what song do you feel like is, does not have substance? No, now? I'm not saying that. Wait, now look, now let, me, let, let, me, let me speak on that. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that when you are an artist, it is important for you to touch different sides to life. It's not it important. It's important for you to talk about That's where you're mistaken. But it has, has to come. Important. It has to come naturally. It has to be something like. It has to be something that you decide that okay, this is but, what but, I want to be talking but about now. Different things not because actually. somebody you, told you. Do you exactly. Just one thing as an artist. Do you experience just one thing? No. No human exactly. being experiences no, exactly. one thing. Melody. So you should be Melody. Melody. You are what? creating a problematic standard that is not going to. Melody, work. what you are trying to do? Wait, 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 wait. You are trying to put artists in a box and determine what they want to do for them. At every no, no, no. That's what you. Are doing at every single time, artists determine and decide what they want to do. Your role is to support. Then why were we mad? at every point? Why were we mad when? Why were we mad during answers when some artists were dropping some certain songs that was not showing what was going on in the society and in Nigeria at the time? Why were we mad? Why, why, why that, were we that was that no, 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 no. People, that, people were mad at them for releasing music. And the type no, of no, 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 no. People, people were mad at them for releasing music. And I'm going to give you another layer to that conversation. Mm. A lot of Nigeria, a lot of Nigerians have ingested the imperialist definition of what mu- great music is. Yeah. Do you understand? But a lot of them, and they are very wrong with whatever perception that is. First of all, to answer the answers question. Yeah. Like it's not like niggas were particularly upset, but it was like people were on social media. Wait, no, no. no let me answer. Let me answer. Let me. Let me, answer, answer, let me, let me song. No. What are you, what are you saying? Melody, no, it's not like wait. no. Fem like, was a diss song to Bona himself. Yes, now they were having beef. Then. Yes. Oh, wait, well, Fem became a big song because it was a people were playing during the during the. Yeah, yeah, that was just time and chance for the, the video. Hook. It's not like the video knew answers. Because of the hook. But guess what, man, Melody, Melody, 
people were mad during NSAS that artists were releasing music, not because they have a problem with the music, but it's like, my nigga, are you dumb? You see what's going on? Do you on? understand? <laughs> they're not saying you they're not going to go and start releasing political music. No, the point I'm Everybody's tweeting about <laughs> niggas are getting shot. You're saying, come and stream. Stream waiting. Go one punish you. Then the guys that were dropping songs that was about NSAS were getting applauded and people were okay with them dropping those songs. So Bonner, as, even the Bonner himself you know dropped called, NSAS. Do you know what that's called? What? Wisdom. <laughs> It's called wisdom. It's called aligning. And they guess what? There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong and with being wise. And people that don't want to align. It's fine. Aligning. There's nothing wrong with being wise. Bona boy himself aligns. Enter jungle with this thing to win Grammy. You guys, which That's the, the, uh, wonderful now. Yes, that was the single yes. now. It's still like the true. video. One to one and he won. And guess what? Everybody celebrated. Everybody it. was happy. We celebrated That's what it. he wanted to make. That's what he wanted to make. So now imagine me. I'm telling... Joe boy, he say, Baba, go and make something about Nigerian government. Make a political statement. Who the fuck are you? Or oh, tell Joe boy, go sing for opera. Do you understand? <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. But I still think that. Wait, wait. I still feel like. <laughs> I feel like. <laughs> we, can, <laughs> we, can, we can make important. We can. <clears throat> every. Well, it's whatever. The bro. conversation here is that. We should all be responsible. But me, I also, I also feel like... Use your voice. And I also feel like everybody will oh, make this kind of conscious music. I feel like sometimes the artists will actually make that kind of conscious and music. And be like, and nobody, nobody will listen to it. They'll be head. like, ah, they'll, they'll be like, ah, what is this person doing? It's but not fine. fine. It's not fine. And that's fine. No, what, what's no, fine about no, that? No, 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 eh? no. No, 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 no. No, it's not fine, I though. Take fine. What's, what's fine about it? Hey, ah. no, that bag. I take Let fine. Let me say what I'm saying. I, this is because I say rubbish, my this guy. Is fine. I say rubbish. Are we done? Is I feel like I say rubbish. Is it show over? How many more minutes? How many more minutes? No, 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 we got time. Uh, they, they let me talk. No. Do you get to like me? Do you get to like me? Don't put my G. Don't, hey, 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 hey. Speak. Wait, don't but insult me. Don't, 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 don't insult me and put my G at the back. Let me try to see what's in the back. Don't let me shut up. You are Rick Maroli. No, wait, guys. Please don't bother me. No, don't ask me. I feel like this is going to be a very, very long conversation. So let's just, let's just. Let's round it up. Let's round it up. Yes, please, it's okay. But my point is that it's fine. Whatever, fuck you. Congrats. Whatever, let's move on. It's okay. It's fine. Like, like you, you be back. Hey, God. <sighs> if, if you're saying you're, there's, a, there's a point in your career where sometimes you make songs and I feel like th- those songs are not for, not necessarily for like money. To yeah, not every song is, is like for. It's like when, um, um. Well, I'm have substance. Which one? I'm, I'm just feel have substance. Then go feel it. Feel have substance. Then go hold it, it does. down. It does. It does. By, by, by ordinary parlance of what substance is, does it pass? Now. When when am I? I, 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 th- the, I think I think I think the, the album about. Yeah, I think the most important thing when it comes to music and consumption is is sweet. Have you know sweet? Is that the is most that important? simple? Yes. yes. Like, wow. like, do you like the song or do you not like it? And, it can, it and that's connect. fine. If people don't connect to something inside, if people are bringing out your discography as an artist and, and they're like, oh, at some point, Melody, like, oh my god, when he gave us the album about self worth, yeah. when he gave us the album about this, when but nobody, like, fo- nobody forced him. But guess what? Nobody forced him to make it. Exactly. He made it from a true place. Yeah, nobody that, forced that, him to make it. But that's being an artist. Ah, but it, ma- it it came from an original place. What you are trying to do is make it like a KPI. Okay, so, and, and that's and, and wait, and wait, and wait, 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 that's, that's MI. So imagine you're an artist. That, you're an artist. You're assigned to labor rights. They've spent money on your promo and everything. Like your your balance is on red, is on the minus. Then you now submit something. Now you want to sing a song about government. They won't let you put it out. Do you understand? Yeah, that's they will happens. not let. It's not. It's not happening. Yeah. The only time you can make that kind of decision is when you are when you got to a level, level. And I, what gets you to that level? Being a young legend. Those songs. Those songs that you are saying. <laughs> no, no, so <laughs> those songs I mean, that get you to that level. <laughs> I mean, who is, who is the queen of pop? You buy leverage. <laughs> who is the queen of pop? Exactly. Queen. Fuck off. You what have to go. Beyonce. 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 Maradona. Beyonce. What are you saying? What are you saying? Beyonce. Who is the queen of pop alive? Is Maradona. Beyonce. Do you know what Maradona has done for pop? Please, I beg, Beyonce. 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 Maradona is Beyonce. Please shut up to me. Beyonce, Beyonce is my queen of pop. That's a fucking yeah, congrats. Beyonce. Congrats. Congrats. And she has given us seven layers. Leave it. Congrats. Leave it. Congrats. Congrats. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Once again, ah. proof that we are the best in the business. Shut up. You are your friend. 
to reach us, to reach out to us, please hit us up. Zero conditions <laughs> pod at gmail.com. Joe Boy, thank you so much for coming Joe, through. Sorry, thank you. Thank you. Like, <laughs> like, now nah, fight, now nah, just a fight. I nah, just a look now. Nah. Oh, nah, they try to put me for me, but it's not going to happen. <laughs> you, know what, you know why? You know why? Because, it's not going to happen. Because he got media training. <laughs> he got media training. Talk to an artist today. Somebody, somebody here actually taught me, Shava. Shout out to the <laughs> artist. <laughs> Culture. Spiral call melody. Uh, with that, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we out. Catch us next week. Video out on Monday, audio out on Monday. We love you. This is your Conditions Podcast. Bye bye. <laughs>